Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode on Quest and Chaos. We're the Chaos Agents, and tonight we're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, that is what happens in a real life stroke. All right. All right. Apologize for going to the It's terrible. Uh, I don't know. Sure. Man. Maybe we should start over. <laughs> you should. You should actually Hello. slate out and slate back in. <laughs> oh man! None of that happened, everybody. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, we want to raise a glass to Gordon Biersch. Um, they are still brewing. Biersch. Oh yes. No Biersch. You, Gordon Biersch is on your ship somewhere. You guys have a ship. It's been a long time since we've been yeah. on a ship. In like yeah. two days. <laughs> <laughs> not even. It's, not even. It's been like a day and a half. No, oh, we're on the Chimera right now, or we have the Chimera. Oh, yeah. sure, yeah. The Fe our, our Phoenix. Ooh. Oh, do you guys have to drink when I forget what we're doing? Yes. Oh, drink <laughs> all the time then. Um, so uh, I think uh, this episode is 79. We are getting wow. up there in the episode numbers. That means the next week we are off. Um, well, I am off. Technically, no, I'm working. Um, we're going to be doing a special Cthulhu in Space episode uh, with the Foxy Irregulars. Cthulhu um, yeah. in Space. Someone had to do it. <laughs> uh, with our very own Togas, uh, Tom Ogus, doing the GMing for that scenario. Um, but this episode, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons. We are in the Von Keen estate. Uh, you guys have traveled to Baldur's Gate seeking revenge for the family. Seeking revenge to the ruckus. You're here to kill the people that killed Ruckus's family. I'm, I'm very infectious. Step in, Ruckus. <laughs> what the hell are we doing here? <laughs> Seeking revenge for the murder of Ruckus's parents. I also like to Emily. apply. Comments. He that was record time. That was four minutes or maybe two. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. Um, well, th I mean, there are so many announcements that we could get to. Uh, Nord Games is amazing. Um, uh, Warren, you might have to run the uh, cards tonight, which means what? that there's good circumstances. Uh, I know where they are. I've which, got which corner of the studio did you throw them into? I see yeah. him. I see him. Okay, okay. I, I also, oh, rec I also recommend comments. Oh, talk about subs? No, talk amongst yourselves. Jesus oh. Christ. Talk <laughs> no, about I, I, I couldn't hear Mike. what he was saying either, man. Mike Meyer? Mike Myers? I saw a hilarious tweet just about the one that. Meyer. <laughs> what do you mean? Seth Meyer and Mike Myers. Anyway. Um, if Mike Myers tweeted out, don't compare me to him. It's an insult. And then there was one of like uh, 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 Trump. Just, But at the angle, it literally looked like he, he was silhouetted just like the mask of uh, Mike Myers. You got to see it. I'll, I'll tweet it out. I'll retweet it. You mean it. Michael Myers? <laughs> <laughs> no, not the famous actor from the Cat in the Hat live action remake. <laughs> Is that really what you know him from? No, I know him from other things, but I just <laughs> like saying that because no one says <laughs> Yeah, like, so I married an axe murderer, right? That's what you yeah. know him from. Yeah. No. <laughs> you haven't, oh my God, that is, it's, it's. I was so close. I saw it on HBO once and then I was like, next time, I'll get it next time. You should, I, saw, you should I saw it like two weeks ago. It's I so liked good. him in Inglorious Bastards. I loved him in Inglorious Bastards. With Mike Myers? Cameo he had, yeah. I don't oh, remember him. That. That? Yeah, exactly. That he was, was the liaison with the spy in Winston Churchill. He met Fossbender. SNL. Make me a drink, would you? Yeah. All, All right. right. All right. Sorry. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Drinking. That's what we're doing. We're back uh, on our bullshit, is what we're doing. <laughs> I never got off of our bullshit. You can't get back on your bullshit if you were never off of it. That's fair. The Nord Games Luck Deck, uh, they are awesome. Um, and. Uh, if you type in hashtag exclamation point nor games, uh, thing comes out with code. I believe the code is chaotic20. Um, however, if you also um, want to talk about one of our very cool partners, uh, you can type in exclamation point birds. 
And there is a link to Birds of Paradise where you can get their Arizona themed dice or their pre order their custom dice with an amazing font. Um, I have mine. And, you know, you may want to use code chaotic when you check out for a little discount. Oh, whoa. Those are totally different than the ones that are those the. These, Which are one the, are those? these are the uh, newer prototypes of the magpie with uh, the 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 darker blue numbers. I actually have both. I actually have both both prototypes of magpie here. Which nice. All right. So anyway, so that's cool. So she's uh, get them on pre order because they're going to go up in price when the Kickstarter launches, and we cannot wait for that because dice and Kickstarters they seem to go hand in hand. Um, that's a good pun. We actually, in the Next episode of the Untitled Podcast, which will come out tomorrow morning, our interview with Robert Davio uh, of Pandemic and Legacy fame. Uh, we talk about there is a Kickstarter out there right now, fifty dollars for dice, a set of dice. Wow. It's like it's a whole lot of nope, but we <laughs> talk about it. Here. Yeah, um, you can't blame somebody for setting their price and sticking to it. Well, and, and and people who who do who do like that the hand dice like a, a dispel their dice are really pretty and they're like they're stupid expensive I can't afford them but they're so pretty. If they look worth the price, sure, but that's the only way. And they do look like they're worth the price for whatever that's worth. <laughs> All right, um, since we've been yapping, people have been donating bits, so uh, we're gonna do some of that noise. Uh, we are going to do our favorite moderator, the Baroness, with 1,000 bits. I'm sorry, our one of our two favorite moderators. <laughs> no, you had it right. Don't walk that back. <laughs> walk it back. Walk it back hard, man. <laughs> oh, man. Well, the Hep, the, the Hep has rejoined our country, so. Um, ha. Huh. In yeah. the chop. Uh, yeah, uh, anyway, then we won't even get into this stuff. Uh, so 1,000 bits from the Baroness to the players. Thank Excellent. you and so we much. Start with four, correct? Yes, you start with four, so you are up to six. We have then Tamagotora with another 500 bits for the players. I thank you, good sir. Thank you kindly. Uh, and of course, the Barons are once again the top of our moderator list. <laughs> with 500 bits to the DM. Uh, oh. <laughs> we love you, Gideon. However, um, knocked, uh, the Hefner just knocked her off the perch because he has 1,000 bits as my favorite moderator for the DM. Uh, Half, mate. <laughs> yeah. And who am I kidding? They, they are both my favorite, no matter what you say. That's still possible. You can only have one favorite, man. That's not true at all. Uh, with yeah, the are. Hefner coming in with 1,000 bits for the players. Dang. Yes. Looking for that P word. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you heard me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, Ingvar Chaos with 500 bits. Uh, you know what? Ingvar Chaos doesn't say who they go to. Stop if it. it's not specified, well, it's to the players. Uh, I don't <laughs> also, we appreciate you, as do the players, and they are going to get 500 bits. Thank you. Oh, Time Lady with a Wand, mm -hmm. who had a, I think, a two or three month subscription yesterday on the, oh, on cool. the channel Ooh, with 500 you. bits to the players. That is Time Lady with a Wand. Thank you kindly for so stopping by with them during your wibbly wobbly timey wimey travels. Nice. I uh, got that one. That? I got that one. It's on my uh, on my body. <laughs> the answer's oh, on. The, wearing, excuse me. You are wearing a a uh, Doctor Who shirt. Uh, there's, uh, a, there's a sonic screwdriver somewhere around here. Don't worry, one? I have uh, the green one. Matt Smith. Oh, okay, Matt Smith. Yeah. I got into him around then. That's fair. I love <laughs> the fact that no one knows really what you and I are discussing. Nope. <laughs> And now you know how I feel during movie talk. <laughs> Doctor Who. Yes. Excellent show. Stilba with 500 bits. 
Thank you, me? Stilva. What? Oh, never mind. You, okay. Okay. Come on. It. Don't make me yes. talk about Doctor Who anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. However, uh, Stilba giveth and sk- Stilba taketh away 500 bits to Warren and the Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> hey, Thank you so much. Nice. Do I not look calm to you? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, and I'm just scrolling through the chat here, looking for more. It looks like it's everything. No, it's not. Nope. <clears throat> what? I think Stilba hit us again. Stilba? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what a Whovian is. I'm guessing it's a... It's a Dr. Seuss like fan. Like a bird. Yeah. No, it's a who... Dr. Seuss fan? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the who's in Whoville. <laughs> uh, well done. To the players. Well to Aaron. Thank you. I'm, I'm a Whovian to Aaron. Thank I'm you. guess it's a, a who fan. Yeah. <laughs> the who? Don't blame. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> so that is... So you had four to start with. Eight, 12, 16, 14. Does that math check out? I didn't uh, do I, any of I had 13, but I'll take your number. I'm with Aaron. Nine. Yeah, so there, <laughs> there were nine here. There were 13. Tracking. And I have four in my stack. I love it. I appreciate it. Uh, I will be using them. We appreciate your support. We're probably going to need it because we had some fun last week. Yeah. Short resting, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So um so you guys are in the middle of um the Von Keen uh, residence. Uh you are on the main floor. You have just finished defeating a very large and stinky horned devil, as well as two three barbed devils that were also in the house, uh keeping watch. Who got the killing blow on that horned devil? Our dear friend Ruckus did. That's right. Oh, yeah. I the did. nat 20, I believe. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I'd you have to watch it back. You Nobody tell I me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, as, as soon as that happened, I just wanted to look at Ruckus and say that still only counts as one. <laughs> Excellent Lord of the Rings reference. <laughs> so, all right, so you guys then have sort of cleared these. These are devils. They poof uh, when you destroy them, heading back to the Nine Hills, where they are uh, back to their original form on their original plane. Must be nice. He's defeated. You die and so you, you go no home? XP for them. No XP, because they they're, they're still alive. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> oh, kind of crappy. <laughs> so it just means we have to go into hell to get that XP. Well, we can uh, kill them in hell, they die. For good. I, I, I suspect we're heading that direction and not too long. Hold on, we've learned that. <laughs> so you, uh, so you then find yourselves in a small, uh, a small sitting room. Uh, there is a rug on the floor. Um, the furniture in here, however, has been removed. You see, sort of where it was. Uh, uh, kept over the uh, the dust on the floor, uh, there. But it, it seems comfortable enough. In fact, why don't I switch over to a shot showing you uh, where you guys are? Ah, uh, to the audience. Okay. Yeah. Yes, and then I need to go into roll twenty over on this computer. I should have did this a long time ago. Yep, yep, yep. Roll yep. twenty gets you. It'll get you. It it, Just... it it does. Aaron had to had to learn the fun way uh, last night about combat and roll twenty. Yeah. Just write down your initiative, Thomas. Do it now. Write down the names and then write down. <laughs> oh. the <initiative. laughs> Do it uh, yeah, the initiative tracker in roll twenty is atrocious. It's not that bad, but you have to know how to do it. You have to click on your token and then go and click initiative, and that's the only way that it works. You have to get everybody in your party to do it. Yeah. In your uh, otherwise it just breaks i mean you can add someone in but it's really hard to keep that straight because it keeps wanting to like add it uh add whatever number you typed in on every round it's really irritating so um so in addition to this small room uh there is a, sm- a little small antechamber uh next to this room as well um it is sparsely furnished 
but uh, you find yourselves resting and recuperating. So did uh, did everybody finish short resting, rolling your No, I have not. I have not. Where do do I do that in D&D Beyond? Uh, Do it in role play. Oh, you mean short rest? Uh, It is top right. Character sheet top right. You can't actually roll it in D&D Beyond, or maybe you can now. You couldn't last week. But you get to mark off how many hit dice you used. I don't think you can. I mean, you can you can roll the dice with the little dice thing on the bottom and the bottom left and the bottom left hand corner, but it's not like roll twenty click and it does it. Yeah. Right. I guess I'll use three d eight. I know they're competitors, but they should just work together. This is like. <laughs> oh, oh. I saw that tweet. I was like, "Is he serious?" <laughs> so, I, I, I hope for stupid things. I understand they're too large. <laughs> Why would D and D Beyond help Roll Twenty fix anything? They're they're yeah. about to overtake him like a giant tsunami. Because it's about the audience. <laughs> we are struggling. Well, and, and 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 to be perfectly honest, I, nice. I love Roll Twenty for what we've been able to do with it over the last few months. But it needed some competition in in the space because there are some things that are just broken. So and and it hasn't adapted over the last few months. So adapt or die. Roll Twenty. Yeah, you would think is... with all of the all of the new people buying accounts. This is Salesforce. This is, this is roll 20 is Salesforce. (laughs) Identical. Hey, look, there's a 800 pound gorilla. (laughs) Let's use it because everyone else is. Right. How's that? How's your health now, Remy? It's full. I got 21 from that. I'm waiting for uh, the the D&D Beyond Overlay to catch up. Maybe one on mine. All right. So um, throughout the course of this one hour short rest, you continually hear movement above you. Um, You also, you notice that there is just a cold feeling coming from the ceiling in this room. Uh, You know, as you, when you, you know, sit on the carpet or, or lay down, it's warmer. And then you stand up the top of your head, you know, the closer you get to that ceiling, the colder it gets. You, you hear different sounds. So much like you heard um, the big footsteps of the horn devil in one room, plus other footsteps of other creatures, you again hear one set of larger footprints, footsteps up above you. And I guess what you would almost call skittering as well. Coming in, in the room above you, going down what sounds like maybe a hallway, uh, you hear nothing coming from the doorway on this floor. And we finish a short rest fortuitously with no encounters. (laughs) <laughs> are they um there is another room well looks like there's like two more rooms on this floor uh so i will uh i will say that you yeah yes and you absolutely checked this come on work nope nope do what i want this you to room, this, yep this room in the back you checked um and it had nothing really of interest um, get rid of that area. Um, this room is webbed over. How long does the web That's an uh, spell hour. last? Um, <laughs> I know the recharges at dawn. The web spell. I could dissolve. We settled with concentration out in the yard with the old people, but just lasting without it. It, it, um, it, it's a concentration up to an hour. An hour. All right. So I will say the wand does the concentration for you. That's an hour. not something you have to do. Okay. Um, but you can dispel it or dismiss it if you want to. Uh, I'll leave <laughs> it Keep, up. Keeping one of the entrances to the room that we're yeah. in blocked off isn't the worst idea, honestly. Yeah. Well, uh, so after the hour of the long rest, it goes away. Sweet. How long? Um, how many charges do you have on that, Uzo? Uh, total of seven. 
And how, how many are left now? That was two that we've used, yeah? Uh, no, we've used three. Okay. I've got I've got four more. By the way, okay. be careful of it. I, I could have sworn I read that there was some sort of uh, side effect if you rolled, uh, if you used it poorly. Um, I feel like if I was going to use up all the charges and then roll for a refresher, if I rolled a one in that refresh, I'd destroy the one. What are you, what are you rolling? I just, you know, a feeling. Yeah, all right. Yes, that's how he rolls. <laughs> that was a cool terrible expression. Pun. It's, a cool, it's a cool expression. I get punspiration and you know it. Not anymore, you don't. <laughs> but that is only if I use up all the charges. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, Can Amy has it? just subscribed for 17 months in a row. Woo! Amy. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was, I was sitting over in, in the corner where, where I am with my knees pulled up to, to my chest, my arms resting. I'm just like resting, catching my breath, listening around, letting my ears do all the work. And I'm going to stand up and say, well, how, how are you lot doing? I feel relatively refreshed. I feel very refreshed. I feel like a new man. I miss Winthorpe. Thank you for asking. I appreciate that. You always miss Winthorpe. Do you want mm -hmm. to take another hour to recall him? Yeah. Could we take another seven to sleep and see how? <laughs> we go? Because I'm out of first level spells. Look, I, I I would like nothing better than to take a long rest, but I don't want to try and sleep here. I think we should move forward very very cautiously as we make our way through this. All right. Um, detect magic on the room, and as he's walking through the place, he's just going to be detecting magic. I assume the roof is glowing. And I and I imagine I imagine we had to tell Remy about it getting cold higher up because he's at about rib cage level for Andraste, oh. so he wouldn't have felt it. I saw it actually um, with Winthorpe before. Remember, oh, I saw yes. all the frosted the, uh, glass, the rhyming. Mm. Before you uh, decide what to do, um, well, I no longer give you punspiration. Stilba does. Ha. So that is 100 bits for Remy's punspiration. Thank you Wonderful. very much. Thank you, Stilba. Thank you. <laughs> you have set a dangerous that. precedent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can pass. Oh, I, we, we just got to keep listening to his attempts. Or punctuation. That's. The I'm. So, I'm so glad that I, that we're not in the studio and watching you two like batter on that on that side of the table. <laughs> <laughs> I kid. I wish we were in the studio. Anyway. Yeah. I like in person bouts. I place bets. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I. How many times have I almost shoved you out of your chair? I place bets, so you win a lot. I bet on you. <laughs> Fair. All right. Um. So. Do we want to check the rest of the, the rooms on this floor, or do we want to make our way up the stairs? We should be aware that up there is probably where everything is. We should clear to make sure no one is at our backs. Mm, agreed. We yep. know that we can keep the conflict res relatively local to us, since the, the fighting on the first floor did not engage the second floor. Well, and, and uh, we... We saw people come from that back room there. That was where some of the, the devils came from. Um, and I, do, do I remember that if, whether this door was open or not? Because I, I think I looked through. Uh, in fact, that door is open. So you, uh, so you walk back out into the foyer. Um, I will try and describe this for the podcast listeners who do not have access to this. Uh, wonderful roll 20. Um, so yeah, so in this uh, main foyer area, there is the sitting room off where you had your short rest to your left. Um, straight ahead is the stairway room. Um, it is mostly empty. There is a small rug and some uh, decorative vases uh, around where you are. Uh, once you are in that stairwell room, there are three doorways to your right. And to your left are stairs that go up. 
And straight ahead, um, you see the end of a dining table in what must be a dining room. So, so is I'm just say in there? Well, he's, yes. he's, he's, he's saying that I'm seeing it as I'm in there, so yes. And so, this area here, we don't see? No, it's around the corner. Uh, um, although Andraste has just gone in there. So this is kind of fun, kind of not. You So you see more of the room. Okay. Um, there is a long wooden table in the middle, another rug underneath it. This one a little bit, uh, a little bit better quality. Um, as this is the main uh, center of entertainment, if you will. Okay. There is, as from where you are, even you can see, um, there is another doorway. Be on a different thing. There's another doorway here. Um, there's a doorway here, a doorway here, and a doorway here. I'll go, slanted wall. I'll go up to this one. All right. I can with Andraste here and just kind of listen to the door and see if I can give hear me, anything. Give me a perception check. I oh, am God. detecting I magic as I walk through. Can I, I want to get in on that perception check. Same. Is it possible? Um, uh, Uzo, give me a pers Yeah. You're going to be doing something else, but give me a perception check. And um, Aaron, you will be listening right above Remy. Okay. Hello. Unnatural 20. Right yeah, I think the three stooges op entrance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, I'm thinking more like Scooby Doo, but sure. Oh, yeah. So, so you, you guys are intently listening in uh, to this door, and you hear Warren kind of exclaim out um you do see up the stairs you see a almost a it's almost a block of ice barring sort of the top of the stairway um and you sense something very large right behind it and there and you caught and you catch a glimpse of magic off of whatever that creature is. And you also then realize that it's not a block of ice, but a sheet of ice that is probably not very thick. Um, no one else can see that? Well, we, we weren't looking. Yeah. So and that's what you, because you were, yeah, you were looking up there. Okay. Um, yeah, I get their attention. I let them know. And you guys did not hear anything from the room. Um, I want to check the room, the, the the door next to theirs, while I listen to Uzo mention about about the the ice. All right. Are you listening? Opening. Listening. Okay. Perception check. Thirteen. I think Aaron had a, a eighteen. Good one. Yeah. 18. Yeah, but he was listening at the same door as you. Oh, I did not see. I thought Aaron had a four. <laughs> Wait, yeah, uh, I thought I rolled that accidentally. Was that no, previous that was poll for only? Oh, it was for all... okay. Uh, yeah, my perception check was the ten, and then the three of you made perception checks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, you hear nothing from those doors. All right, I want to test the the knob to see if it's locked. It is not locked. All right, as stealthily as I can, open it, take a peek inside. All right. Yeah. You look inside and it is a a little I don't know, it could be a study at some point, but it is turned into into a make, makeshift bedroom. Um there are two bunks in here. Um looks sort of cramped, not very uh not very fancy. Um, I'm going to say to Ruckus, uh, Ruckus, would you like to go in here and just have a quick look with me? See if there's anything of interest in here? Listen, you know I'm not going to do this stealthily, so I am assuming you're asking me this knowing that? Right? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, there sweet. doesn't seem to be anyone inside. 
perfect. This is my disclaimer. And uh, as I step <laughs> past, I kind of like appreciate it. I kind of like brush the door open. No problem. And <laughs> and I'm gonna brush open the door, but the door will like slam and wham open. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't make too much of a noise. But up to you. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna I'm going to make at... a lot of noise. Hopefully, it doesn't make a lot of noise. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look at Remy and be like, he did warn you. To be fair. Yes. That's... So yeah. So you. I come with a you, disclaimer. <laughs> you, uh, you go in and look Remy in the eye as you push the door open, um, and it, and it like fl- flies open much faster than you thought it would. You know, you were ready for like creaky hinges and it's just like bam and it does make a noise um however um, it appears to be go on yeah and i use i think you are pushing your luck with the volume here there there's something around staring at least upstairs maybe even on this floor azuzo keeps an eye upstairs but kind of listens um, and slowly peeks into this room while listening through this through these alcoves. All right. So so you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shift back away from the door that I'm at and just like watch that that uh, ice sheet to see if if the thing behind it noticed that noise. Um. So as as that happened, and you kind of like take a moment to before you look up there because you're trying not to like do quick gestures and get people's attention you see um there was something behind it but it is when you turn to look it just moves away squiggly line in my eye fluid is that you (laughs) no okay um do i hear anything on the floor through these doors so I see the carpet and the long table. Can't quite make out the full room, but I, I definitely want to make sure that um, vibrations of someone walking through the floor or silhouetted light underneath the door or even just kind of creaks of anything. Um, so in fact, it appears desolate. Um, outside okay. of of the noises above you, um, which at this point you can actually hear are um, uh, like in mean, Remy. There's noises above you skittering sounds um, cool. above you in whatever room is right above you here. Well, uh, say to Ruckus, Ruckus, will you come in here as silently as possible, please? Yes, yes, I, I hear it. I understand why I should be feeling guilt, but I'm not. <laughs> um, listen to that. Do you hear that skittering right above us? And you and you do hear what sounds <sighs> it sounds like ice walking around. It's like ice cubes hitting the floor. I think I get what you're saying. Kind of like, I don't know. Is it footprints? There's like a crackling (laughs) hole. It is footsteps, uh, but it sounds like um, it's something on all fours, but those fours are dagger-like. It's T-1000. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to assume at first, like, are they stabbing the floor? Wait, no, that's that's weird. It's too awful. Do oh, we go goodness. up or do we draw it out? I don't... I mean, I would much prefer to fight down here. Mm-hmm. If it's sealed off and all of the, the, the windows had that rhyme on it, it would be best, I think, if we did not go in there. And especially since, I mean, I know, I know you are quick-footed, Remy, but uh, fighting on ice sounds like the last thing I want to do. But we do okay. have at least... Three? Does Eldritch Blast count as fire? Because we, I feel like no, you and I... No, it's Ah, good. Well, you, you and I at least have a, a fighting uh, to melt the and let them pass. There's a pass. Yes. Uh, that room seems very um, confining. I think we should come out of it. Yes. And prepare. 
Yeah, I don't. Them. Do we want to check this room behind? I I said I listen. Do I hear anything from behind this door? No. So it, it that appears room. The, correct. That okay. room in the room next to it um, appears empty. Does not sound like much. Now is this a door right here? It is a door. There is also a door on uh, right the far there. end of the room as well. I'll go ahead and go to the one that Uzo's at and uh, just say, I'll "All right, have a look." Right. Yes. All right, I'm gonna have mm -hmm. my back to you, but I'm still concentrated on the stairs. Okay. Okay. And I'll Open go. I'll, I'll I'll like hook around the corner into the dining room so Uzo can still see me and listen at the the door in the south. All right. Are you test. are you opening the door, Remy? Yeah, yeah. Test the knob if it's not locked. I All have right. A look. So you open up the door. The inside is a very um, this one. It's got a rug on the floor. There's another door leading, which from here you can tell leads to the outside. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a thicker door uh, that opens up inside. This is um, a cloakroom. Um, on the wall, you find you see a number of traveling cloaks of different qualities, different colors. Uzo, why don't you give these cloaks a little magical look over? Okay. And he um, he whispers, Baga, you know what to do. And so as he says that, Baga, Uzo turns around away from the stairs as Baga acts his eyes behind his head to keep an eye on the stairs. Um, All right. Uses uh, de detect magic. All right. Uh, and, uh, Remy is magical. Uh, Kumara. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, there is nothing else of magic in here. Uh, this cloak, Remy, oh my goodness, is of the finest caliber quality magic. You should you should adorn it. What? Really? Well, yes. I'm, you sure? It, it's if a bit I, big for me. If I understand this correctly, it should make you fly it should make me fly and you offer it to me you know i very in character i can't we don't have time <laughs> for this there's nothing of magic in here ah uh, i see okay last thing i need for you to do is try to jump off of the table make a noise and attract whatever is upstairs down here indeed all right let's go back there's no other door on the side so it's just straight cloak eh? okay yep yep uh there's a door he uh <sighs> On the stupid other, yeah, there's a door there. Thank you. Systematically check the others. And yep. I'm and I'm, uh, and I'm listening at the storm. All right, perfect. So uh, at the, I'm gonna watch the stairs. Yeah. I'm so back to watch so this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one first. Um, as you go into this, um, this one as well has two beds in it. Um, you see that they are very close together, and um, they're not like. They're twin beds, right? So they're single occupancy beds, but they're not pushed together. They are close, but they are still separated. I mean, it, it, you gather that there are um, individuals here that are visiting. Yeah. It seems to me like they were, or they have, we have some visitors here. Uh, didn't, didn't somebody say in a previous episode that there were visitors? With the yes, mountains. that we had um, the the high priest and priestess, I believe, of Mammon uh, here from Waterdeep, or the people who were in Waterdeep who did who did the poisoning, if you remember. So they could all be upstairs. Yes. What did you find in that room? Do I know that? It's... Yeah. So outside, Can I dig of through their possessions. The, is there anything else? Uh, so no. So that is one thing you do not see. So these are uh, the beds are made, um, and but there is nothing else around. So you don't see any personal possessions. Um, you know there are some knickknacks uh, that you imagine. You know, kind of goes with the rest of the house, but nothing. Uh, nothing that looks like the occupants. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. All right. One last door, yes. I'm Two. yeah. I'm 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 checking this one, and then there's another one to the north of this room. Yeah, Two there. Uh, Parted. Why not? Uh, Thomas, do you want to make a perception check at this door? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, Ruckus moves into the into the door, but I grab him with my arm. No, you stay here with me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you, Uzo. <laughs> Psycho. 
All right. 16. Yeah. Uh, so listening at the door, um, you, you actually hear the same skittering above you in this room more so than anything coming out of the room. It's above you where you are right now. Um, and you hear larger footsteps head um, on the floor above you over towards where um, Remy is. Still above though. Above, yeah, over right. here. Um, yeah. I, I, I like have have my eyes closed, tracking where where things are, but I don't hear anything through the door itself, like inside the room. Correct. Okay. All everyone hears that, or just the uh, Remy and Andraste? Just Andraste. I think just me. Yeah. Uh, uh, Remy, you probably would have heard it. Oh, no, your passive perception sucks. Yes, it really do. Uh, and I'm concentrating on this door, anyways. Here. Okay. Can I tell uh, Uzo as Ruckus? Listen, I have an idea. What's the worst that could happen if we burn this entire building down? Um, you strengthen whatever's inside it because we already know that demons are devils. averse to <laughs> fire. Hmm. And Rusty would probably say devils. If she I'm right there. there. I can hear you. She's right there. She could hear us. <laughs> <laughs> There's ice in the Literally, stand. I'm arms reach away. Ice is very meltable. What I mean to say is that you should, if, if Andraste can hear you through the wall, you should probably talk softer. And that idea sounds very bad. I think my whispering tone implies I'm whispering. Ruckus, do, do, do you remember the, uh, the devils in the forest? One of whom was able to erect an ice wall, but I still couldn't touch with fire. Yeah, I forgot that one. The devils are the devils are immune to fire. We've learned this again and again. They can they can produce ice, but unfortunately, unlike uh, other things that produce ice, they're not uh, susceptible to fire. Besides, we don't want to burn this place down. That will grab a lot of attention, and we're not about that right now. What the fuck? And unusually for us, we're not about attention. Damn. Okay, I'll kill them somehow. What is in those rooms? Are we are we safe yeah, that nothing I'm, is at our backs? I'm opening this door here. All right. You open yeah. that door and look in. I mean, polygon. Um. So you open this up. It is a storage room. It is um. Um. Uh, food goods. Uh, is what you find in here. I mean, there are uh, jugs and uh, component pouches of, of all sorts of things that you would have for cooking, uh, meals, and it's a pantry. There is a set of stairs going down. Interesting. Looks like there's the entrance to a basement here. I th Am I losing my mind in the nap? But oh well, you're not close by. But uh, I'll wait till you come back. He whispered to us. No, I, I'll, I'll come back and report. Yeah, and I and 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 when he comes back, I want to open the door that I'm in front of. All right. Carefully. All right. So you open that room. That is a legitimate sitting room. Um, there are chairs around. There is a love seat. And there are small wooden toys um, on the carpet, on the ground, in front of you. I love what they've done with this place. Uh, we should probably see what the resale value is after we clear it out. This means children. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna walk in and like crouch down and look at the toys. Try to try to guess how old the children are based on the toys and their condition. Because you know, young kids chew on them and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been around kids. Small, they're small little board games, and there are bits missing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, puzzle uh, pieces thrown yeah. to the four winds. Can devils yeah. have kids? Not that I'm aware of. No, the humans have the kids. The priests 
scientists, uh, likely humans, mm. much like uh, scientists. Contrasting, give me a wisdom check. This is straight wisdom. Yep. Okay. Do we think our fight lie above or below us? Seventeen. Uh, so you think uh, you think may, the the toys that are in the room are for kids, say three to twelve. Uh, the ones on the ground are for somebody five to seven. Uh, we probably have a, a small child, at least one small child. Can I, can I get any indication of if it's one child or more than one? Uh, no. Yeah, no. fair. Small children, okay. they do that. Um, but it, it, we, there's at least one child. Um, human ages are weird, but walking Look, w- walking yeah, and yeah, you think they're somewhere between 30 and 40 <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> no elves age in a very odd way but i'll roll with that so what we do know is that there were kids here at one point and these are people upstairs who did not hesitate to poison 300 or so children in water deep killing them are these children going to be an issue? Do we think that they're going to use them as some kind of shield? I think they might be trying to sacrifice them. If that, that would be my guess. Sense. It could be both. Hopefully. We'll have to be careful when we go up. So then I suppose the, the question is, do we think that the children are upstairs or you said you found stairs into a basement. Maybe there's a sacrificial area down there worth a look before trying to melt that ice and get up. We know how many flights are above us. We have no idea the depth below ground. We need to check it out. It's a risk and then we we can't have that at our backs. And I clear the room. Yeah. The the downstairs. Yes. I would much prefer to clear upstairs. Up- upstairs has has a lot of things that are skittering and something absolutely enormous walking back and forth but for right now they're held behind that ice i don't we don't know that they are held but be- but behind the ice but that skittering could trap us with no way out in the cellar i mean it could trap us with very few ways out upstairs a window look our fight is upstairs i do believe this everything points to that they've sealed themselves off up there I think it's worth the time to just give it a look and make a decision once we have that information. I agree. I concur. I wish to go down and see what is below that we know we can at least guess what is above. If we are to be um, scouting on, on this one, it will need to be quiet. I have the best vision in the dark mm-hmm. and the best stealth. In- I it may be. It may well be worth it uh, for the three of us to be to wait at the top of the stairs, and if Remy needs us, he'll shout banana. Yes, I do. So that is a good point. Um, it is dark in here, so um, my guess is that Aaron's sword is out, providing the only illuminated dark vision for everybody. Well, not quite everybody, but yes. Well, yes. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't used a light as we've been in the building so far. Uh, but I'm ready to use I think it. So, I think we need to wreck on that. Otherwise, you guys didn't see anything. Yeah, so, I, I, it, 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 it just makes more sense. Because I forgot it was nighttime. Uzo uh, hasn't been looking wait, anyway. He's been <laughs> sensing and hearing. So yeah. without, wait, so without the sword blue light, it wouldn't have been as easy to see? Yeah, yeah would, it would have been dark. Yeah. Oh, okay, Disadvantage so. on all your attacks and whatnot. Yep, never mind. I got it. It's been on the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly. Okay, been on the whole time, and uh, so, yeah, okay, Remy, listen, I don't have to tell you this, I don't give a shit about you, but be safe. Excuse me? Nothing, just be, just go down the stairs and don't die and come back and tell us what you find. Don't fucking die. Thank you, Ruckus, I really appreciate that, and I knock on his cod piece twice and then turn and go. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I'll be not far behind him until we get to the top of the stairs and then just like wait on the edge of the stairs, just ready. Yeah, I have a ready stand right here. 
All right. So Remy, you walk over there to the top of the stairs. I will uh, stealth, by the way. Okay. As Give me a perception check as well. All right. I will roll perception first. Eat the grid. <laughs> Son of a... No one want to inspire? Yeah, well, is it a nat one or is it just a... No, that's a five. It's, no, it's a straight, straight roll. Full, full re-roll. Full re-roll. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Fourth. Two bits. Yep. Two inspiration Woo. for you guys. All right. Natural Such 19. Better. Nice. 19. So uh, yeah. as, you, as you go over there, you don't hear anything as you kind of crouch down and you flip your cowl up and just... The, uh, the angle of that around your ears, you pick up chanting down below. It's very subtle. It's I will um, stealthily go back real quick and inform them. There is chanting below us. It sounds far away. Maybe oh. some kind of demonic Maybe ritual. Echoing. Could you perceive if it was human or, 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 de- or demon doing the chanting? I could not. I'd have to give it a look. Did it uh, with, a ni- with a 19? Um, well, I mean, it's... The language? E- you know it is a language. Um, I th- have you heard Infernal before? I think, I think you it. kind I think of we have. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you you recognize it as infernal. They're chanting an infernal below us. It sounded how a little far, like that. How Give far below us? It sounded a little ways away. It was a little echoey. I could try and get a closer look. So I say you venture down until you meet the first sign of resistance. It's, and it's, it sounds like our actual fight is down below. Devils above are all very well, but we, we came here to deal with the, the leaders of the cult of Mammon, and it sounds like they're down there. And it well, might be easier to deal with humans than uh, the demons. <laughs> we, will, we will have to decide because either the fight is above us or it is below us, but either way, we are leaving ourselves exposed to the other. So... Unless we rig this side with a trap. We got anything? More information is the way to go. Fair enough. Go down, see what you can discern, and come back up. I'm on it. Aaron, do you mean intelligence check? Uh, Oh, I was about to roll it in. (laughs) (laughs) Higher than I expected. Boom. Thank. Oh shit! Oh. Okay, <laughs> we're <at> eleven. <laughs> Never mind. Higher give it a plus I six. Think. I'll give it a plus six. What do you <laughs> yeah, think? I'll take right, a let's plus give it a plus six. six. If you roll a one. Is there any you. writing in the room of any kind related to any hmm. demon writing uh, scribes? Uh, yeah, no, I mean around? this is this is Tomes. this is pantry. Uh, there are some recipes. Oh <laughs> um, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, D six. Uzo picks up a piece of paper. New York City 115, Philadelphia 105. Okay. <laughs> Seinfeld reference for you guys. Okay. Are Seinfeld. you rolling? Are you rolling? A D6? Roll your D6, bro. Oh. Roll D6. Oh, son oh. of a. All of that for that. Love you, team, nonetheless. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Hope you it love does. does a 12 give us anything? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Uh, uh, you, yeah, yeah. I mean, a trap sounds like a great idea. Let's, and I look at them, kind of like, yeah. You, let's, you know. let's, let's let's get some more information first. He gets behind this door, Ruckus. Uh, so I, I wave him into the room that I'm at. Right. Uh, all right. Okay. Um, I will uh, roll my stealth and go down. I have my wand out. But I'm not going to do anything with it yet. Yeah, and I'm and I'm and I'm hovering right at the top of the stairs, like to the side enough so that I don't, I'm not casting a shadow down the stairs, but close. Well, if there's any light, but close enough that I can see down the stairs with my dark vision and listen for anything, like 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 a, a small person shouting banana. 
I got a, a ready to action just with the flamberge in one hand, the shield in the other. And if this fits, because I imagine the shield is kind of latched to the forearm, uh, hand axe. <laughs> Ooh. Are you kidding? What is that? That's that can't be right. Uh, no, I would HK one instead of KH one. Okay, yeah. Thomas, I'm all Sorry. scared. What do I do about it? <laughs> there we go. Holy <laughs> maker! <laughs> You're just gone. Mm. <laughs> I am the knight. Okay. Yeah, I hate when he does that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know about all you, right. but I love it. Looked away for a so. second. Damn it. You head down um, you head down the stairs ready for this area to turn into a basement or a cellar. And you are greeted right away with something that is neither. Um, it is stone construction. Um, there, so it's it was clearly uh, so the walls are nice. Um, it's old it's not like brick but it's stone walls uh, that are constructed around um, there are in fact torches down here sconces on the wall in the four corners of a room as you walk in and ah, the snapping is going to annoy me um, and I'm taking you it real see, slow you see, a, you see in the center of this room a spiral stone staircase going down. Off to the side, you see that the area continues. Um, you actually have uh, Eldritch Sight. Devil's Sight. Devil's yes. Sight. I keep wanting to call it Witch Sight. So you see into uh, right and left a little ways. Uh, to your right, you see uh, more sconces. Uh, there is more light over there. Uh, they are torches on the wall. A large table with finely crafted chairs. On the other side, uh, you see a stoned pillar in the middle of uh, a 20 foot room with at least one door, um, solid oak door there as well. You see that about human eye level, there's a, uh, some sort of latch mechanism that you can see on the door to your left. Right. I, I will attempt to go a little further to the right, to where that table is, um, kind of sticking to the walls here. All right. So yeah, so you you get closer. There are sconces all along this corridor. Um, this table area seems to be, um, it's it doesn't take up the whole space right there, like it does show in this drawing, uh, but it is. Um, well crafted, and there are in fact uh, goblets resting on it. Um, are they filled? You see various levels. Uh, most of them are empty, uh, but you do see um, a. You find one that looks. There's a little bit of lipstick on it that is almost entirely full, uh, and. Uh, and mostly empty with, you know, a little bit just in the bottom from. So there's just one that's clean. almost full? Yes. Hmm. Um, I smell the contents. See if I can discern what it is in there. It smells like a very fine wine. Okay. Um, I look at that and look at everyone else's and just kind of note it, put it back down, and head back to the other direction where the door is. And listen to the door. All right. So uh, as you, uh, give me a perception check. As you walk in. 18. 
All right. So as you walk in, the pillar right in the center of the room, actually where your character was, mm -hmm. um, right here, you see a peg sticking off of this pillar, you know, uh, above you because you are a halfling, a iron ring with iron keys on it. Three keys, in fact. And around you, you see three doors. Okay. I will note this. Um, I will check these doors for traps just to make sure. Okay. Investigation. Yes. Oof. Yeah, take a reroll. Yeah. And they look they look fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh. There's the reroll for the two inspo. All right. All right. So as you so as you look around, um, you you do find the keyholes. Mm -hmm. Um where uh, on the, it, it's a it's it is a padlock more and not a um, built into the door mm -hmm. um, so you can see that it it is a very thick um, locking mechanism that holds these two iron bars together uh, you do not think that they are trapped but you definitely think that the keys match perfectly I'm getting the idea that this might be some, just to my own self, I'm, I'm getting the idea this might be a, a prison of some kind here. Uh, I should point out the chanting. It's coming from uh, below. Comes from below. And also when you were over by the table, you heard it loudly coming from that hallway. This hallway over here? Correct. Um, the same chanting, however, comes up from the stone spiral staircase. Okay. A little bit more muffled, but you can tell it is the exact same source. I will uh, book it back up to my friends and let them know that I've cleared the next room and that they should come down with me quietly. Yeah. All right. So, comes so down. the rest of you come down. Quietly, everyone make me stealth checks. Damn it. <laughs> Wait, before we do this, hold on, team. Should I spell this? I forgot how long to spell magic on the armor works, though. We uh, haven't been that long. We haven't been a day. The the fight was like in the in the courtyard, he, the fight he, was like two hours ago. He's what trying to he, he's trying to decide if it, if it's better to take it off and and not have the disadvantage to stealth. It is a free action to put whatever. Uh, it is freely available to put this armor on whenever I wish. But I don't know how long the spell magic works, so I'm curious. Can I take this off, not have disadvantage on the stealth, and possibly? If I if, if I if I remember correctly, the the armor remained inert for some time after the last time I cast a spell magic. I think it lasted for like an hour, something like that. And we cannot have you without your armor that long. Shit. Yeah. Then okay. you take up the rear ruckus and make sure nothing comes at our back. Fair enough. Shall I? Ruckus could stay here for now, and we can go ahead and explore. And then once once we need him, he comes charging in. I'm not doing that. This is the cult of Mammon. I swear to God, if I lose my opportunity with them, this is a vendetta that is way too personal. To there me. will be plenty of killings to happen, and I will save you some, I promise. How, how stay a room some? back. Stay, stay, stay a room behind. I was about to make the same suggestion. That way you're close enough to, to get to us very quickly if we need you. Uh, but far enough away that you that if you trip over something, it won't make a huge amount of noise. I say that I'm not terribly stealthy either, but at least my armor doesn't I, clank anymore. I will be going forward. You guys will be staying here. I'll Just follow behind Remy, but at a distance. Do not drink the wine that is in that those goblets. Remy, we are here for a mission not to consume alcoholic beverages. Sorry, sorry, uh, Uzo, I was speaking to Ruckus. Ruckus, ah, do as not Ruckus is consuming <laughs> alcoholic beverages. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm making my stealth. Oh, that's a nat fucking one. That is a card. Yeah. 
It's from the Nordian. I said Western. I'm not very stealthy. <laughs> you try. Uh, you like miss the last really... step and just like funk <laughs> face plant. So right, what uh, did we get? Uh, we were using the Nord, Nord Games luck deck. Uh, Nord Games in the chat, exclamation point. And you get 20% off the order. If you use code chaotic20. Chaotic uh, this is a card maybe played against you by the GM at any time for the following effect. Fail on a skill check. Ooh. Too late for, yeah, we use, for that. We use these cards a little bit differently than intended. Normally, these are supposed to go to the player that rolled the one or... Uh, the 20. However, we use them as a group, so I get to play this on any one I choose. <laughs> Write them down. <laughs> yep. Right. All right, so uh, where uh, are you guys headed? I also want to tell them there is a pillar over there with some keys and three doors that seem to be padlocked, possibly for prisoners or sacrifices. Are there prisoners in there now? Could you tell? I did not look. Uzo's detecting magic all the way down. All right. Uh, you are not seeing any magic, uh, Remy. When you were over there looking mm-hmm. at the doors, the uh, the the contraption at the eye level of a human is just it's a uh, a big solid thing to Lock. push open and then look in. Mm-hmm. So you do know yeah. that that was there. Oh, it's an eye slot. Mm-hmm. There there does seem to be an eye slot in there. Probably to check in on whoever is in there. Might be worth checking out while I go below and, and do more stealthing. We, so are you going down more stairs or are we taking the corridors here? The well, stair would be harder to traverse uh, in case an expedited escape is needed. But let, the corridor... let me start with the corridor as the chanting was most heard that way. You guys stay in this room. Um, I come into here and just wait here. Yeah, I imagine I'd like trip down the last step and catch myself on the wall or something. Uh, It's like freeze. Sorry. And Ruckus is outside. (laughs) And I'm and I'm I'm listening. I'm listening intently around me to see if anyone heard that. Right. Uh, Thomas, I'm head, headed this way. All right. Um, Continuing my stealth. At, so, yeah, so on trusting, as you kind of stumble and then write yourself and listen, you hear from down below a faint moan. Like, uh, does it sound like it's coming from down the spiral staircase? Yes. Someone down there is hurt. I, I acknowledge that. Okay. Should we check down? Or should Keep. we go over here? You guys, <laughs> just, I'll be right back, okay? Oh, you go. Let me check this. Check the corridor first. Go. Yeah. So I go this All right, way, so, continue to stealth and take a look. So uh, with your sight, you look down this long corridor uh, until it's about 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 feet before you tell that it opens up. There are more sconces on the wall. Um, and just even being here, that mm-hmm. chanting is much louder. And in fact, you see a blue glow coming from somewhere in uh, this room over here. So there's another pillar there's a, here. So there's, a, yeah, there's another pillar here, um, sconces and then just sort of debris over here. But there is a blue glow sort of coming from this entire room. I make my way very stealthily over. And uh, right. give it give it the old uh, fifth element look. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you you sort of whip over and look. Uh, the first thing you notice is about fifteen feet from you there is a railing, um, and it over. So whatever is on the other side over is down below. You can hear the chanting is 
very loud at this point and it is rhythmic and it is um uh consistent um and it seems to be over and over again um, uh being as small great. as i am crouching down trying to stealth towards the railing to get a better, better look at below do i feel like i could uh stealthily do that um you do uh so you walk over there and uh you being a very light halfling you this right here as mm -hmm. you step over it you feel the 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 ground start to crumble beneath you but it does not break uh you can tell that the 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 floor in here is not well maintained. Mm -hmm. um, and you get to the railing and you look down and what you see is um, there seems immediately what you see it appears, appears to be two rivers of flowing blue energy. Um, and looking down, you see a number of robed individuals nine of them and this blue energy seems to be coming off of them hitting hitting pillars and continuing down um this uh this room probably need to go somewhere else to show you what you see um so i will show you what you see Let me move this so everyone else can kind of see. So yeah, so it is, um, this is you looking down to the room below you. There are um, these, uh, they are uh, pillars with sconces on top, right? That are burning this blue sort of fire. And there is energy being sucked out of each one of these individuals along these lines to, um, and then hitting the pillars and going into the sconces. And you can see that they go into the other room. At the very end of the room, they seem to join and push uh, into something on the other side. I um, note that and uh, very lightly go back to my, my mates there. All right. Jump back over here. So I head back into it and I come back into the room where everyone is there. Tell them what I saw. I say, I don't think there's access from that place because as light-footed as I am, I nearly fell through the floor. It is not a good method of all the ingress. Rest of us would fall, all the rest of us would fall straight through. Yes, I think we go down here. Perhaps we should check the uh, cells first, just to make sure. Would it uh, be possible I... to collapse that on top of them? No, they're in the room further away. I was overlooking, them, not directly above. Uh, I like how you're thinking. Uh, I Good think point. we will find these cells likely empty, but best, best to check it before we get down there. However, whatever ritual they're doing, it's drawing a lot of energy um, towards one particular... Was it going into people at all, or just... Uh, so, yeah, so there was uh, there was one... Uh, you believe one cultist at the end where it was going into, and then out of that person as well. He was going through this this one person. Um, so we better do it quickly. I Did fear it, the longer we wait, the more whatever they're doing is going to take effect. Do you do you know if uh, could you, could you tell if any of them were um, shielded in any in any way? Shielded against say a fireball being dropped into the middle of the situation. I I could not. not 
say that any were particularly shielded against a fireball. I mean, it's rather difficult, but I don't, I, I don't know a lot about magic in some ways. The people who that energy was coming out of, they were doing the chanting? Correct. Uh, you heard, so you heard those individuals doing chanting. You also did hear, um, I mean, it was kind of all coming together with, you know, the rock and everything around, but it was definitely coming from there and in the room where the energy was going to. Um, so and, there was more that you did not see. Mm-hmm. And I'll, I'll ask him if you, uh, were you able to tell, uh, were they human, elf, dwarf, or were they, or were they devils? Could you tell? They were robed. I don't know. Did what say you, DM? Uh, they were definitely robed. They were definitely human sized or humanoid sized. Um, you do not get a chance to see any more details than that. All right. Well then. But luckily, one of us knows how to detect certain evils. Yes, that is true. Let us try and proceed down as stealthily as possible, but uh, what do you think? Should we check these rooms first? I, I think that would be a good idea if we're worried about things at our backs. Agreed. But if these are little people, we probably would need to usher them out of the building. Right. Um, let me go That's... fetch Ruckus. It was yeah. very loud in there. There's no way they're going to hear his armor just walking through, I think. Oh, God. Honestly, I don't... I hate saying this. I don't know if it's a good idea to reveal ourselves to anyone who might be in the cell just yet. If they are prisoners, if there are prisoners in there, they will want to be released. Uzo, just have a look through the slot. I think that okay. will be enough, don't you, Andraste? Detect magic, listen, and then look. Yeah. Uh, so d- you do not detect any magic? Um, you do not hear anything, and you pull open the, the slot, and you look inside it. It is obviously a cell. It is empty. Um, give me a perception check. Nice. 22. Um, you can tell that there, uh, it, it looks recently occupied. For, for all of these, or is this a connected sort of thing? Uh, No, for each one individually. Uh, So two of them look recently occupied. One does not. Okay. But all are empty currently. Uh, I relay that, I guess, to Andraste. Does that reveal anything in the room? Can we see that non-black area? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. In the meantime, I'm Uh, fetching Ruckus. Ruckus. Uh, Yes, you do see a pool of blood in this one. I feel a lot better, and I marked the pool of blood. (laughs) Um, is it is the blood fresh? Uh, it's old. It's old. Old blood. It was on. It was on this map that I found. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Ruckus, you should come in. I don't think they're going to be able to hear you. It's very loud. Oh, for the love of fuck! Finally. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to run in and or not no, like don't not run. charge in, <laughs> not charge in. I'm going to just speed walk in, but stealthily speed walk in. <laughs> okay, great. Do you want to roll uh, stealth at disadvantage? I have to, considering he just said I won't need it. I mean, that's well, up go ahead. the DM. Yeah, they yeah. did. I mean, oh boy. At straight. So, uh, so a natural one was rolled and something happened. So just go ahead and. All right, let me see what the stealth is. Right, plus nothing. Uh, <laughs> boom. I don't see it. I is know. It, it's, it's is it your high, internet? So. There oh, you go. Yeah. That's no. not bad, except for disadvantage. Wait, why is he disadvantaged? There's an ambient noise. Oh. There's ambient noise. There's ambient noise. How, why is he at disadvantage? <laughs> Can't someone fart and then another demon thinks it's a fucking other demon fart? <laughs> I called it first. There's the ambient noise. Yeah, but he still has disadvantage on stealth checks. Ah, uh, oh, that's just a means one. that. All right, so minus one d10 after making the saving throw from this Nord game. Luck. Nord Games luck deck. We need to start rolling right. some twenties, friends. You, uh, you also, as you sort of like <laughs> trip over on Drosten. <laughs> I'm at the top of the spiral staircase. You do not trip over me. <laughs> uh, you also hear a moan from down below. Uh, in fact, all of you at this point hear that. Uh, 
And, I, and I'm, I'm just, I'm just standing cool. there waiting at the top of the spiral stair staircase, just rubbing my fingertips together, going, "Let me down there, let me down there." <laughs> Pull out Kamara, and uh, say, "I think it's time we go down and meet whatever is down there." I agree. Concur. Right. Stay twenty feet behind me, yes. Sure. sure. Now there's other rooms in here behind us. Detect magic yeah. on those rooms as he comes down the stairs. Um and, and and as I come down the stairs, I want to trigger uh detect evil and good. All right. Uh again, remind me of what that does and sure. how much of a distance? Thirty feet, I believe. It is thirty feet. Uh for the duration, you know if there's an aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead within thirty feet of you, as well as where the creature is located. Similarly, you know if there is a place or object within 30 feet of you that has been magically consecrated or desecra desecrated. Uh, the spell can penetrate most barriers, but is blocked by a foot of stone, one inch of common metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. But it, it also lasts for 10 minutes, so I'm holding it up. Gotcha. All right. So, um, so you come down into this room. Um, there is no more staircase going down. Uh, there are three sconces in this room lighting it up. Another one um, over here in the distance to the uh, north, if you will. Um, and you can tell that there's more illumination up there. You have two double doors, which Uzo is just detecting magic on. And there is um uh, there is Andraste undead behind that. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna reach a hand out to to Uzo and just like wait. It doesn't give off any magical properties though. No silhouettes, nothing. Um, the there is magic coming from under the door, and also. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I have I have my symbol up and it's glowing a little bit in my hand. And as I turn and look at the door, my eyes go about this big. I'm like, wait, wait, don't open it. Don't open that. I'm not planning on it. There's undead behind there. Do we deal with them or do we ignore them and proceed to the ritual? We've established that the wand of web makes no noise, right? Correct. Uh, he, Uzo, points Indeed. up his wand and he says, well, maybe we seal it shut. Well, depending depending on how strong they are, I may be able to take care of them in one in one swoop of Radiance of the Dawn, or I turn undead, rather. That is a very the, big if. It is a risk. So, Andraste, the undead that is in there is at the edge of your 30 feet. Okay. And it has not moved. Does it feel like undead singular? Yes. Okay. And you can tell that it is on the other side of the doors. Um, you you feel it sort of coming through the cracks and everything. Um, it is not moving. All right. It feels it feels like there's there's only one and it's not moving around. If we can web that door shut, it might be all right. Do it then. Um, Uzo throws a splay web out to where it doesn't expand over, but it covers the entrance. All right. So you have webbed the door. Um, Remy, looking down this corridor, you actually see a... It's two girls, funny. Uh, you do see another door down here. Mm -hmm. uh, and ruckus with your night vision, you only see, oh, actually, there's never mind. There's a I also sconce would, down there. Scones. That word haunts me. I, there was an improv game. We'll get into it later. It, 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 anyway, uh, scones. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll ask you about that on the break. <laughs> nice scones, bro. It haunts me to this day. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, I, I, if I check any hallway, yes, this one closest to me, I would be checking. So yeah, so you you notice looking down there, there is in fact um, some light coming out of this 
this area here. Okay. And and Remy, you know what? You see it coming out of that area. Is right. it stealth for me to keep walking forward? I'm I'm gonna tell everyone. I'll go scout. Wait here. And I wanna head forward to see if I can right. see what that light is. So so muffled. Um from where you were, uh, the chanting is obviously coming from this way. Um, as you get closer to this door, you hear more and more chanting on the other side of it. And this uh, opens up into just a small alcove. little alcove with a sconce and a okay. rug. I'll return and to him. As, yeah, and as you get really close to that door, mm -hmm. you can tell like I mean, you can see like 15 feet away from chanting. Um, and you see this blue glow coming from underneath the door. Got it. I come back, I let them know, um, tell them it's likely the same on the other side, the other hole. Uh, likely the same is not the same. I would feel more comfortable if you gave it a look, if you don't mind, Captain. Fair enough, fair you, enough. You, Better you, safe you, than not. sorry. Do you want me to get a little closer to that door and see if I can sense any devils behind there? I think that's important, yes. Yeah. Well, I'll six. move as quietly as I can. I'm, 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 I'm at your six? Sure. Yes. Oop. Hello. Uh, excuse me. Uh, pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Uh. <laughs> Stop moving around. Gods. Uh, so, yeah. So, so uh, perception check as you're... Uh, so both of you there, the chanting is is loud. Um, mm. You you think that you would have a hard time hearing Ruckus mm. walk towards you. Oh, good. Uh, and you want perception checks? Yeah. What about her? Um, her spell actually locates any of them, right? Yeah. Do, ah. do I do I sense any fiends behind that door uh, within within thirty feet of me? You do not. Fiends, undead. Celestial. Bay yeah. fiend, undead, celestial. Yeah. Nope. I mean, I'm, I'm mostly worried about fiend. I was surprised to hear undead. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and I'll, I'll like lean down and, and, and whisper in his ear. No fiends. What? <laughs> it's very loud. <laughs> no devils, at least not close enough for me to sense. Okay. Well then, I think it's time. What what do, do I catch anything else through the door with a with a twelve with that perception check? Because uh, no. All right. Okay, so I head back. And I say I think the element of surprise will be on our side for this. I think we ready the actions, Ruckus. You bust the door down, and we go in guns, uh, blast mm -hmm. guns blazing, so to speak. Wait, 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 wait. wink. Uzo points down the hallway. What is over there? That's an excellent question. Little legs. Trot, 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 trot. <laughs> I will throw you over. Uh, so you run down this. Keep this down. is a, a much larger corridor, and with your eyesight, you see it opens up, and there are mm. rows of beds. Uh, these. Uh, this area actually looks more well maintained than the uh, than the house above, actually. Um, and these are each bed meticulously made, um, a single pillow, um, a tan sort of bed sheet fit, folded perfectly. I imagine uh, there, that... are, oh, go uh, there are four statues, actually, along this wall over here. Are those robes or stat those are legit statues? Uh, the Bas reliefs. They are uh, carved into the wall. Give me a perception check. Um, Uzo's okay. at the corner. He hasn't peeked around. Okay. But he's just kind of like listening. Well, wait, everybody. Uh, all right. Yeah. Um, the. Uh, the statues themselves um, are of horned, devilish-type creatures. 
they are, you know, uh, busts on pedestals. I kind of get the idea then that this is likely where the cult operates out of um, from the militaristic way that they're taking care of things like this is regimented. This is where the the peons of the cult live. Here, not hearing a, a, a kerfuffle down the hallway, Uzo peeks his head and sees Ruckus uh, Remy down there and kind of slowly walks towards detecting magic as he goes to where the, the busts would be at the end of his range. So he can okay. see if they're magical. Okay. Um, so you need to get basically to the center of that uh, rug. Do I? Uh, you're, you're 30, it's 30 feet. Yeah, that, right, that'll get me there. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Give me a perception check. What? With detect magic? With, nice. With detect magic. 18. 18. All right. Um, this means my attack you, rolls are going to be shit. So you, <laughs> so you notice uh, the leftmost statue is a female and seems to have uh, dirt or worn area on its chest. Uh, you kind I, of pick that out as the other ones are, are very sort of well maintained. This one seems to have use. As Remy, I guess, comes back, I stop yeah. him. Uh, hey, wait, there is no magic emanating from them, but do you see that? And he points to the female and he's that, the kind of worn dirt on it. Are these Someone. inanimate objects animate or... I don't know. It looks to me as someone's been touching the bust. Inspiration? Anyone? Come on. <laughs> I was honestly waiting for someone to go there because I refuse. That feels, <laughs> um, that, feels I, I, that feels like I should give you one. Hey, uh, hey, hey. The pity. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> this, is a, this is a bad nice. path. <laughs> nice. Um, I'm, I'm also right, right at the corner and we'll like peek around. Um, to see what's what's going on. Duke, I'm sorry. Duke Fleek just posted boobies for no reason. <laughs> what do you mean no reason? <laughs> it is always the right time for boobies. For some reason, the chat just keeps keeps going, scrolling back up to when Warren gave Togas the subscription. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only important part. There you go. Just I mean, friendly clearly, reminder. Cast, cast members have to have should should have a, a subscription. So, uh, Stilba, with five hundred bits for punspiration. Oh, thank you. So that five hundred bits. Do I then take mine back? <laughs> nah, no. <anyway. laughs> oh, actually, I am going to take mine back, and I'm going to give you something else. Um. Not hepatitis. Uh, uh, you know what? I I, will, I I should give this to you. Um, give me, somebody give me roll me a D one hundred, and anything over fifty two re roll. Can we all do it or no? Just one person. Uh, Bo, me. because he he did the yeah. uh, he did the thing. Um, also, this this is gonna make me open InDesign. Just try, no. I don't. Man, you, I, you get my I, message, Thomas. Holy God! Man, I wish I could roll like that on Call of Cthulhu on Zoom chat. Wait, no, he said above. Pit no, pit. I can't see Zoom chat. Okay, I was I was saying that the basically the the viewers can't see where we are. They have no idea what we're doing. Ah. Move the map. <laughs> just the, zoom yeah. out. Yeah. Just zoom. Well, you know what you could do. You could just tell me. You don't have to. We're not. We don't have to hide the fact that. Oh, oh God. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is the worst. I hate it when you know, this happens. Sometimes we got to have it behind the scenes. I totally get that. Nah. Theater of their mind. We just got to make sure they practice. We don't want them using the map as a crutch. Yeah. And we are on Twitch, and, and people have heard me burp before loudly. Uh -huh. Well, you also did that on the Rick and Morty stream, which is the, probably the most appropriate stream to do that on. I only bring Indeed. that up because it haunts me. I knew that burp was going to catch me one day, but it has never on Chaos Agents. And I was like, God, and, you know, the second laptop got me. So I, 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 you know, I was kind of, kind of freaked myself out. So I had burped right in that moment 
And I thought you guys were talking about me for a second. <laughs> we had soul burp. That's funny. God, Thomas. <laughs> All right, a five. That's a magical. Cthulhu like I roll. said, I really wish I could roll like that on uh, Call of Cthulhu. So somebody oh. probably wants to write this down. This your so deck. This is a, this is a little something from my deck of inspiration. Hey. You get a critical strike. Nice. I will be Change reserving. Change a regular hit into a critical hit. You nice. must succeed on the attack before using this card. Mm -hmm. The flavor text is divine energy pulses through you and releases as you strike your opponent. Mm -hmm. That is a one-time use card. I have, I have it written. Uh, we will be doing a Kickstarter things. for those at some point. I'm going to keep pushing. Um, working on That's some other awesome. things. What triggered that? Uh, the oh, pun, the pun inspiration. inspiration. Uh, nice. I took, uh, I took, I took my, uh, Inspiration coin back and gave you the card instead. There we go. Take okay, it. Okay, that's fair. We'll take I'll it. take that one. Yeah. Um, oh, still the 500 to the fairest DM. I think what? he means that because I'm good looking. Um, that goes to Aaron, right? <laughs> you know, nice. every, absolutely everyone on this stream has DM'd on, the, on, on uh, Quest and Chaos. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Finally. Achievement. <laughs> Achievement unlocked there. Now we just yes. need to work through uh, the, uh, the Nat 1 crew. <laughs> I do Aaron's not. has already done it. Aaron's I will done not. It. I'm it not going to overhype this. Lauren will not DM. I'm not. Lauren, Lauren hasn't. <laughs> Kelly hasn't. <laughs> yeah, Kelly, I'll... Kelly is of the opinion that she does not want to DM. At That's least fair. for now. We'll see. I'll, I mean, I, 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 I had that opinion at the very first natural one shot. And look where I am now. <laughs> Um, there are uh, many things that we could try that don't have to be uh, Dungeons and Dragons, right? So there are other systems that are uh, that might be uh, easier, you know, less rules heavy to start with, right? So, you know, you could game master a system that is more of a board game or something. Yeah, just I, 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 I will push Monster of the Week if if we're looking at doing something like that because it is rules light. It is two. It is two d six for for all of the things that you do. It's a really easy system and I love it. Hmm. We could stream playing Secret Hitler. I um. Is that I need more clarification. <laughs> you never played that game. You Moving never on, that game. I I go ahead and yeah, nudge yeah, Uzo yeah. with my joke. <laughs> wow. Focus, Remy. Um, seeing seeing them apparently relax, I'm going to scoot up enough to have a look at the busts with uh, Detect Evil and Good, just to make right. sure that it's not like fiends that are in, held in stasis or some shit. I don't know. Uh, you, uh, you in fact do not okay. um, sense any. Andraste, with your keen <laughs> eyes, perhaps you should go take a, a closer look at at that bust there. Uh, all right. So I'll, I, I see which one he's indicating. I also see mm -hmm. where the wear is and just sort of roll my eyes. And you, 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 you imagine, um, you imagine you know exactly what to do. What? what does that, uh, sound the, like? it, that sounds yes, really I mean, there is, uh, <laughs> in fact, um, if there was a city that you wanted to tune into, you, this would be the perfect, statue to do it in japan okay i'm, I'm, so I'm a four-year-old i apologize <laughs> no. uh, that, that is way too advanced for a four-year-old man that's at least 13 years old i blacked out i could i read something from the chat and i cannot fathom this sentence my eight-year-old loved secret hitler so much he mentioned it at the grocery store yes how did you get out of the grocery store <laughs> Oh my gosh! This entire scene was long. With <laughs> the busts in the room. I'm thinking like Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom, Secret Corridor. Yeah, I'm maybe I'm, push. Yeah, yep. I'm I'm gonna like reach up and like like hover a hand just just a, like an inch away from the bust and then like look back at the other two and be like, should I? Um, let's get ruckus first. I was about to say, am I the only one not? In <laughs> yeah, <laughs> son of a. Oh, son of a! You hear down the corridor, just yeah. a, son of a bitch. and then he's gonna march over, and he will meet you up. Uh, okay. Well, there's nothing down that hallway I checked. 
<laughs> All right. Well so done. knowing so so knowing that the guys are are at my back, I'm gonna reach up and see if I can like push anything in or if anything twists or anything like that. When he comes in, I'm like, Andraste is about to touch the busty goddess. Quick, pop it. <laughs> <laughs> All, and of, like, us, uh, and, and, all and, of us and, watch her do this, and we've got like <laughs> big kawaii eyes. We're like, oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, as as you uh, you know push with just a little bit of force, the whole thing kind of pushes back, just like an Indiana Jones and yeah. Wonderful. Um, uh, as the Sir Biscuit gives you five hundred bits to the Madman Uzo. <laughs> yes, thank you, sir. Sir Biscuit, amazing artist drawing. Oh my God! Yes. Bad Thank bad you. Art. Thank you so uh, much for that art. Rin, yeah. Bad Speaking art of, of the art. situation. <laughs> you should draw this, and Andraste <laughs> feeling up the statue as it pushes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I imagine <laughs> she she says very quietly, "What makes you think I'm only into males?" <laughs> Ruckus whispers. <laughs> <laughs> so as um weird way. As you uh, push this thing, it kind of goes over to the side, revealing a storeroom. Um, and in here... I hate the grid system. Oh my goodness. It'll get you. Clark just emailed me. Ooh. Kent? What? I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> I might be buying a stormtrooper. I'm so confused. <laughs> I quit All right. Those, th those are generally human beings. You shouldn't buy one. <laughs> They're clones. This, is, this one is not. They're still humans. <laughs> All right. That armor uh, does nothing to them. <clears throat> so inside this room, right uh, are you are you going in? Um. Yeah. I'm one... going to detect magic. So and yeah. I, and, so there. And I still have detect evil and good up. All right, so it kind of pushes through in this little corridor, um, and it goes in. And on the inside, when you do get inside, it is full of robes. Remy, you notice these robes immediately resemble every single person that you saw in that room was wearing one of these. There are two cabinets. Each one holds five robes. Okay. Um, anything else in there? It's just the robes. Uh, it is just the robes. Um, uh, uh, I will say, uh, no, actually, there are also uh, some bottles of wine in here. Okay, booze, booze, I mean, on I, 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 have, I have a very excellent bag. I think we should bag this wine, I, so to speak. I, I, we are on the same wavelength, and I'll, and I'll like step through. With, uh, with 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 the bag of holding and like glance around and make sure we're not messing anything else. Sure, let's pocket the poison. Eh. We don't know if it is yet, and it could be poisoned post bottling. Well, and, and, and do do you realize that I do have access to the ability to detect poison? I don't have it ready at the moment, but I can. Cool. And even if you didn't, we could test it on our customers. Win, win, win. We the question are... is that last one sounded like a loss. Just saying. Do we do we put these robes on? Why, why would we put the robes on? To get, get a better position. Is this what they were wearing? Yes, this is exactly what all of them were wearing. Then we put it on. How many robes do we have? To generate some confusion among them. Agreed. Agreed. How many robes do we have? Ten. Oh, all right. We're good. Are, are, are there any that look like they will fit Remy? There are not. No, no don't worry. I will. I will hide behind one of you so what you know what you do notice is uh in the exact same way as um this secret door operated there's another one on this wall here put these on before we explore there that that might lead into the chamber but Agreed. the first thing i want to say is how do we denote ourselves versus them we can tell if we spot remy who's remy but I don't want to accidentally blast either of you. How do we differentiate ourselves? Mm. We should stick to corners of the room. 
I mean, that's not really possible for you and I, Ruckus. We have to be in and amongst them. Well, I think I, I, I think once once it begins, once the actual fighting begins, we drop we drop the hoods. We can recognize each other then. But so will they. Here's once, my. Once the fighting starts. <laughs> if that is the idea, I think then maybe Ruckus and Remy drop into the center of it while Androste and I, disguised as one of them, fight at their backs while they are focused on you. Are you sure that? Are you sure that that's the best plan? I was planning to drop a fireball into the middle of everything first. You, we can lead with that yeah. and still do our action. And besides, they'll probably be pretty busy. I have a good way to get their attention. After right. your fireball, of course. I'll 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 take one one of one of the robes down and like sling it sling it over my shoulders. Um shit. Do we have Do we have like marker or a stain or something? Stain. Ink? ink? We have ink. Ink. You have ink? No, I gave you my ink. Well, I always have it for my journal and whatnot, not magical yeah. ink, but regular ink, yeah. Um we could put a spot on our shoulders or something. Uh, uh, yeah, I, will, I will say that there is uh, uh, there's ink in the room. So yeah. Uzo takes some ink, dabs it on his hand, and he puts it on the top of uh, both Andraste and Uzo's hoods of the cloak. Yeah, he can reach the top of my head very easily. I can't reach the top of his head easily. Oh, man. Okay. And then he goes and grabs a corner of the robe and blots it with black ink as well. That is so that Remy can see. Fair enough. You don't um, want to get Kumara in your back. Thomas, how, how, how many bottles of wine are there? Six only. Cool. I rolled 2d12. And... Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm I thought that was your perception roll. <laughs> I was yeah. like, we should move. I'm putting it into my stuff. Uh, it is like I mean, you, you through the walls hear the chanting and the flow of energy. It is not just chanting. There is this whoosh, you know, this pulsating um, flow of energy. We've already decided a plan, have we? Or because I have a suggestion, but let me know. Yes. We well, plan? What is it, Rocket? Well, uh, you. It seems like Uzo is a long-range kind of type fighter. We're just uh, picking that up. Yeah, just kind of. I'm saying it as nice as I can, and <laughs> and that feels like Tiana is uh, no nope. Andraste. Andra, I'm Tiana. brain fart, brain fart. <laughs> she sounds like a right wanker. It's fantastic. I wonder opinion. what is going on inside your head, Ruckus. I really do. A courtroom of voices, and it feels like split. <laughs> Regardless, I think <laughs> I if Ruck if Remy and I are the only ones in the center, maybe we should trick them. We should trick whoever is in the room. Could I throw my flambush down, have it glowing, and they all think that is the hot, the safe spot? You're firing at everybody in the safe spot, the blue light, and once me and Remy move from that blue light, they will be distracted still with the fire uh, bolt, blast, fireball, fireball. Yes. I, I think what's likely to happen is the fireball will rain down and likely incinerate the cultists. Um, I don't think they're probably made of stronger stuff. I think it's the person that all that energy is going through that might be the problem. And if we and if we can cut down the ones who are sending at the energy and anyone who might be at our backs, it'll make life a lot safer for us. It's just an assumption, though. That's a reasonable assumption. I don't know. I'm just trying to get bait so I can get as many in that fireball as possible. Um, I think that they sounded pretty focused. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I think we put on these robes, we go in there, we we have at it. All right. I, so... I say the first, the first action is the fireball. Whatever can spread and cause the most damage in there. After that, Remy and Ruckus reveal themselves to the room, or maybe start hacking away. You you start your attack as soon as the fireball starts to dissipate, and then I will fire, um, on them from a range, picking off around the room, but the fireball is the trigger. Agreed. Right. I don't feel good about this, but a little birdie just gave me an idea. 
Yes. The chat. The chat. It's Aaron. The chat. Uh, <laughs> listen. Can we make them slightly more flammable? This wine looks like it's a good year. If it's a good wine. year, it's for drinking. Knock that off. <laughs> wine does not. Thoughtful, a bunch of cultists, very flammable beef wine, jerk. That's wine, wine is not going to. Wine doesn't tend to be uh, strong enough in alcohol to burn. It's something, yes, higher in proof. You might want to saute them with the the wine, but you will Ooh, not burn lovely. them. It would be Andrasse. a lovely. Andrasse knows a, a bit about that. All the right, we're, we're changing the subject right now. <laughs> what? Come on. What? The ogre what seemed to like it. Your pulled orc was That's... amazing. That smell <laughs> haunts my trances. I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> I do love orcas back on the menu. <laughs> what? Jeff, you are amazing. All right. As a Lord of the Rings reference, right? What did Jeff yeah. do? Mm -hmm. uh, he just said orc is back on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> Only if there's an orc so many there. more meetings for us. So. All right. Um, are we going to go through this door, or do we want to Remy to see... Remy, can you check this corridor to see if this is where we engage or if we go back around? We, we should open it and I'll have a look, but you have the robes on, so I'll be behind you. Yes, but I think you should still stealth until you meet resistance. Is that... Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. All right, so, so we're opening the corridor? Mm-hmm. How loud was the last one? Uh, it was actually quite uh, subtle. Okay. So hopefully maybe the door will open and they won't notice. That's my... All right. So, uh, so the, but the whole thing does come in and you, there is dust kind of falling down as it's moving on ball bearings, probably. The one use for ball bearings. Uh, and then it kind of hits to the side it is open uh you see in to here actually i'll just do because you have remy Imagine i see all the way yeah. yeah uh yeah from where you can see inside if you want to go into the room you will probably see more yeah that'll probably be seen though um so wait I... remy from the balcony wouldn't see this area it was under uh, he he did a quick look. Yeah. Oh no, you yeah, you looked. I was mean, that down that I will I will say that he saw that area, but he hasn't seen that area in about fifteen minutes or ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm and I still have detect evil and good up, and there are people within thirty feet of me. Um, All right, it looks like our cover is blown. We should act now. This person's head sort of just kind of turns to look the door should be open but room. empty door is open um they don't see anyone in there uh, there is a slight dip um in this area of this flow of energy um as others kind of look around um at each other not really knowing and this person is kind of just turns around and, and turns to get back into into their chance. And I'm and I'm gonna I'm gonna look down I'm gonna look down at Remy and, and raise an eyebrow like now. So I put my hand on both of them to awaken to talk as ish. Should I drop an illusion in there of a small child to distract? <laughs> I, I'm I'm going to whisper as quietly as I can because because we can't respond in our minds. Yes, no. Um I I think fireball. Okay. And, you know, glancing around to make sure I'm not about to take anyone by surprise, uh, I'm going to drop a fireball. Right Ruckus, you're in the room too, right? Here. Well, yeah, but who who are you talking to right now? I, so well, I mean, just as the here. action starts. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think <laughs> that we should get into better position first before you drop the fireball. Well, we go in in the cultist robes. I'll be behind you. Ruckus will be behind. And well, we, we just get a little forward. We don't want to get too close because it is a 20 foot radius. Um, here, I will bring it with me. Um, 
and I will have it run away. Lots of arrows r- running around here. Are you with yeah. me? My 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 thought out of out of out of game is that I is that I do it so that I hit uh, these six people that should that, that that should disrupt the the energy flow and do the most damage immediately. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> just entering the room. Um, I assume Remy's going to come and hide behind me as I yeah. uh, enter with my head down and you know, kind of hidden. I do not go out of character. Me. Yeah, no, out of character. I want to walk in with a minor illusion of a small child at my hand, and the small child runs away from me in that direction, like it gets away, right? Like it breaks its grasp and runs away. It's a minor illusion. I don't know how active it can be like that. Of course. Um, a one minute illusion, range area 30 feet, um, sound image object within range that lasts for the duration. Illusion ends if you dismiss it. Um, if you create a sound, if you create an image or an object. Um, it's not really an active image. Must That's- be no larger than five feet. Um, image can't create sound, light, smell, or any other sensory effect. Um, physical interaction with the image reveals it to be an illusion. Um, if a creature uses its action to examine it, it will determine that it's an illusion with a successful check against my spell save DC. Does it, does it say that it looks like it can move and run and things like that? Um, if you create an image object, such as a chair, muddy footprints, small chest, it may be no longer than a five by five foot cube, um, the, which a child is. Um, the image can't create sound, light, smell, or any sensory effect, right? It can't fart, it can't spit, it can't... But if it's a five-foot cube, can that cube move? Or is it It doesn't say that it can't. Yeah. Well, and, well, and it also says, you know, an object. And a, and, a sm- and a small child, contrary to popular opinion, is not an object. Small child's an object. It's not like a... Everything's an object. It feels like it's uh, yeah. It well. <laughs> no, they, they specifically call out creatures as creatures. Yeah. You create a sound of an image of an object. Then no, an object is a child is like, not an object. Okay. Okay. Well, there that goes. Although, you, if you create a sound, it can range from a whisper to a scream. So no, you can't. So you can do a sound, an object. We'll have to figure out. We'll look at it, but yeah, I agree. They specifically say creature when they mean creature. Okay, uh, I will create a cardboard cutout of an, of a child. Then, thank you, <laughs> Vindica, Sean. Yeah. Um, no, I guess we don't use that. <laughs> <laughs> so a, a small, a, a slow children at play sign basically is going to go across the. <laughs> I was a children. <laughs> I'm sorry, you've got slow children. All right, so, oh, so it sounds like Warren or uh, Uzo is, is is going to to lead the way in, and I'll be like right behind him and throw the fireball when he's just out of range of 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 the burst, and then Remy will disengage and then go deeper into the room. I'm trying to figure out what we're doing here. I, I, I'm you, not you, you very. You tell me in well, exactly what you're doing in five. I'm we gotta come up with a sus I'm plan. dropping the fireball. Fireball. Cry havoc and let's slip the dogs of war. All right, my ready to action as soon as the fireball goes off um, is going to <laughs> Eldritch Blast cast. Okay, every one of you will get a surprise uh, action this turn. Cool. Before we roll initiative. So everybody will get to go before we roll initiative. And I'm going to start rolling some decks. I have to be so. Should we take a break before we get into this? We should take a break. Probably a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna stop that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we are gonna jump into some fireball mania uh, as soon as we can get back. We should get back real quick. We should do this real quick. All right. All right.
<laughs> and we're back now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I am fooling my uh, fellow cast members out. Epic, All right. epic, ha- epic uh, fake out there, mate. Yeah. All right. So, um, hey, everyone, and welcome back to, wow, we've got 48 people on. We are just about to witness the revenge of ruckus. So, uh, we are starting with a Andraste dropping a fireball. Yep. Yeah. And it'll, I don't, I don't know what's back here, but if there's something back there, it hits it too. Uh, to... Is it a radius? That, what does it say? It is, it, is, it is a 20 foot radius. Fireball is not a joke, man. <laughs> it's why I'm like, let me let me let me lead with this thing. Bada big boom. <laughs> yeah. Bada right. bing. Wow, this is gonna be fun. All right. Oh, run the encounter. It's me to wants me to roll initiative. We can do that. Also, I should I should mention I'm casting it at fourth level. Ooh, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, roll initiative before we do any of this. So we can just put that into the system. Okay. Into the D and D beyond uh, alpha encounter builder. And they are a great sponsor. We don't talk about them enough, uh, but they have, they have given us access to everything, which really mm-hmm. helps. All right. What do we have for Remy? Twenty-two. 22. What do we have for Uza? 14. 14. Andraste. 5. Mm. Oof. Ruckus? Was this initiative? Yes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) 15. You have no decks? Yeah. keep forgetting. 15 total. All right. Not I kind of do. I can I spin plus five a bit? Can I spin a bit to try again? Or you know, second it. All right, thanks, Rock. Second it. All right. Are, are you re-rolling? No, I'm just doing. Well, I'm, gonna, six. I'm gonna say no. You can't because I hit next, and that's all that they're. And we're <laughs> what? Done ah, my balls. He's not letting me <laughs> chat. He's not letting us use the bits. It's <laughs> not fair. D- DM Fiat. They've been blued. Uh, all right. Oh, all right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, manual entry. Okay. <laughs> nope. That's like that's armor class. I'll just hit refresh, and we'll go through the whole thing again. All right. Yeah. Twenty-one. Yeah. Twenty-two. Andras, do you want to re-roll? It's you should. <laughs> I'll just say. Kind of. Yes. So. Use two of them. All right. Yeah, I'll I'll re-roll then. Ha! Well, it's better. Better. It's a nine. All right. Oh my ruckus. God. <laughs> oh, you're on par with, with uh, Ruckus. I go before Ruckus. Yeah, you have okay. higher decks. Fuck off, Ruckus. <laughs> what did you get, Aaron? I got 15, I thought, on the initiative. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not that bad. So when are you going? Warren, when are you going? Um, before Ruckus, because of my decks. He has no decks. I have two decks. Gotcha. But I also got, got 15. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, very steps. good. Okay, this is good. And I can take a screenshot. All right, All we right. are going to do this. All Would right. you like to roll damage first and then have me roll? Sure. So it is, I, I, I it goes too high for, for the auto thing. So roll. You roll initiative? No. I, was- I did. What'd you roll? I auto rolled it in the D&D combat tracker. Oh, nice. Oh, what'd you get? 31 points of damage. I got a bunch of different numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> 31 points of damage. All right. God damn. Succeed. So, A makes it. Who's A? Succeeds. Ooh, They're rolling. Uh, B, do you see? Oh, you don't see those. No. Okay. No. I've got them all labeled. That's fine. Uh, natural 20, cultist B makes it, cultist C. Uh, meets, no. Uh, yeah, meets meets the, 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 the DC. All right, cultist D failed. Fails, cultist fails. E failed. Oh, I'm sorry. That was cultist F failed. Only the first cultist two made it. 
G failed. Yep. Cultist H succeeds. Made it. All right. So really should have remembered that. How many? How much damage? 31. Uh, 31. 31. So 15. And that was with three ones in there. My goodness. No. Goodness 15. gracious. You should do it again. Good gracious me. 31, 31, H, 31, 15. Uh, all right, so the fireball goes off, illuminating a lot of areas that you can kind of see. Um, just kind of do that. The everybody you see, you see those that. Oh wait, why did I do that? Um, hold on. There's the 16 here. I'm gonna spend one to make it. Okay. One, um, there is a 13. I'm gonna I'm gonna re-roll. I'm gonna add a d6. I'm adding a d6 to both of those. Okay. Uh, I'm spinning this inspo. Is that is that for the first one? The uh... that one? No, I, I just assumed that I made it because I only need one more. Uh, so that one fails though. So one of them, one of them gets a little bit better. <laughs> um. Wow. I, I, yeah. All right. Thank you Matt. for for running through inspiration there. Uh, so I am left with three inspiration. Okay, so here's what Flying. happens. So this this fireball goes off. Um, half of them roll out of the way, uh, patting their robes out. The other half, <laughs> uh, they uh, are lit up and start scrambling and running. Like, and you see this this wave of blue energy coming from. Uh, this this cultist here just drops, <laughs> and and you hear screaming and scrambling as this energy drops and drops, and it like falls down in a wave and hits this last guy um, who is under here. And you look, eh, you can't really see. You know that there's a bunch of stuff happening over in this area that is beyond your vision, really. Uh, the blue light goes away. You hear a scream of, of finish the ritual. And next person who wants to go. Um, let me do a little something here. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like lean out, throw the fireball and duck back in. So I'm out of the way of anyone else who's going out. Um, so so yeah. let, me, let me see how many... I really should mark them here. So, what do they scramble to? Yeah, where they when that happens. Uh, I mean, they don't. They're 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 in their five foot square. They're running around. They don't um, stop, drop, and roll. None of them. Well, uh, yeah. sure, sure. This is normal. Right? <laughs> this is fine. That meme. This is fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything is on fire. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yes. I mean, that's exactly what they are doing. They are running around, rolling on the ground. Um, some of them are, are in much worse shape. So 17. As Andraste in one fell swoop, I guess Uzo will come through as soon as she glides through and nods to Remy, like, now's our time. Um, and he's going to go through. Um, and I'll wait for Thomas to finish up. All right, so um, these ones in yellow with the yellow dots on them, mm -hmm. you can see those. Those guys uh, are on fire. Uh, they look on the very, very doorstep of death. They are. Whew, it was so close. Damn it. <laughs> nice. Um, so if I hadn't rolled all those ones. 
Yeah, two Uzo, higher. They have two hit points left. Slow motion, I guess he comes through his peripheral vision. Yeah. Can we see the rest of the room? So, uh, yeah, you come in now, and then uh, well, you're kind of blocked from seeing the important stuff by I'm, the big pillar. I'm right but, behind him, by the way. But I'm I can moving. at least... One more step forward. So, But I can at least see this way, right? Like this stuff? Well, there's a... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Reveal areas. Yeah, so... Perfect. Oop, yeah, so oop, there's a door there. Um, so he's going to try to block off line of sight from himself over here from that guy. So he will right. take one more step because he has confidence in his abilities as his eyes. Uh, he walks through and he throws essentially what looks like an Eldritch Blast into the ground, but up spruits um, Evard's black tentacles um, in the range of these guys. Um, and it is a 20 foot area. Each guy. So this guy. Oh, Dude, shit. don't be in range of that. <laughs> this guy. No, I'm going to secure the box. This guy and this guy, this guy. So 20 foot, right? He's in this box. Five, 10, 15, 20. He gets these. He gets this three, right? Yeah. Yeah. The cube. Ooh. It's a, it's a what? It's a 20 foot cube. It says 20 foot area. Uh, Rain, um, it says range area, 20 foot square on the ground. Okay, Because usually it specifies what shape the spell is. Yeah, it's a square. All right. So I wish they, they had overlays here. That'd be nice. You can, you can color it in the top left. You can create a color overlay. Can you? All right, let me draw a shape then. Yeah. Bing, can you see that? Draw a tick. And then I can fill it oh, nice. with a color. How did you do that? Uh, that's too much. Oh, let, me let me delete right. that. Too bad that's, you know, you have to make a square though. Damn it. Can I, can you delete that, Thomas? Because I can't. Oh, no, I can. Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Okay. I will, I will make a square. I will make a 20 square, square and I will put it over. Five, ten. This is just, this, this is, you know, so, so when we're around the table, this is a stream of, of three hours of math. When yeah, we're but virtual, at, this is three hours of fighting with software. Yeah, at, at least at least when we're in person, we have like the shapes that we can just put on and say, this is where it goes. So it is, it's it's when people enter and when people start, but it is 3d6 damage. Um, I think I... Yeah, but when you cast it a, is when people technically enter. It yeah, for the okay. First time. So the save is a 17. Um, creature strained by the time you use an uh, action to make a strength or dexterity check um, against your spell save DC. Do I roll the damage first or do I? So, so, so if they, if they make the save, what happens? Um, that is a good question. Um, if they fail the save, what happens? Do they take okay. damage? So it's it's on a success, it frees itself. But if a creature is restrained by the tentacles, all right. Let me read the whole thing. Right, um, any creature that enters the affected area for the first time on a turn starts its turn there, or already restrained by the tentacles, takes three d six damage. Um, starts its turn there, or it doesn't say like when I cast it and there's something in the in that area. Squirming ebony tentacles fill a 20 foot square on the ground that you see within range. For the duration, these tentacles uh, turn the ground in the area into difficult terrain. Um, when a creature enters the affected area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, the creature must succeed on a dexterity saving throw. So I guess it doesn't, until they move, they don't. Evard's black tentacles. Yes. When a creature enters the affected area for the first time or starts its turn there, it must su succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 3d6 bludgeoning damage and be restrained. Yes. So but it doesn't do that. that huh? Did you read that before? Yeah. I think, I, <laughs> so I think the way it is is like I roll the damage and then when the turn starts and it's their go, then they roll. Like if they don't move, then they don't take any of that damage. Not if they don't uh, move, but no, before their no, before their turn, they don't take that damage. Here we go. For the first time on a turn, 
or starts its turn there. Okay. Yeah. That. Hmm. I know that we have played it before, so we're going to play it. The effort to free themselves does the damage. Mm, Oh, interesting. First time, right? Because it's when they first enter, are they restrained or not? Yeah. So, boom. That comes up. They're going to take some damage. Okay. So, roll 3d6. We are going to... Yeah, if they... Is it half as much, or is it just... If it just says they, they free themselves, right? So I think like at the start of their turn, they see if they take this damage or not. Because then they're just totally free. So, all right, you know what? I like your way. Let's see if they take this damage first and then they go and then they do it yeah, again. Exactly. Okay. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it sound if, if if it sounds like um if they if they succeed on on the on the saving throw they don't take the damage because it's must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take three d three d six and be restrained. But when exactly. is that so it's, is the question? The when first time they enter it and at the start of their turn. Yes, which this is neither. This is the first time they're entering it because okay. they are entering it for the first time when it okay. when it's cast in that area. All right, I'm rolling this damage. Yeah. Okay. 12. Nice. 12 bludgeoning. Man, if, the, if, if that succeeds, three of those are three of those are gone. All right. And that saves so, for a minute. What's the DC? 12 points of damage. 17. That guy. Oh, nice. Actually, hold on. They have to, they have to roll. Succeeds. Fail, fail. Mm. One of them's gone. Fail, succeed. All right, so this guy, he took 12 damage. I don't see which or guy. He takes no damage if he made it. Right. right. If he makes it, he all takes right. no damage. But is he, so he's not restrained at all either. Okay. But, but, but at the top of his turn, he'll have to make the throw again. Yes. Wow, that actually was really lucky on my part. Nope. Yeah. Oh, my way. This was. I like this way better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um. Unfortunately, uh, this guy. This guy's dead. So you killed one. Everyone else took. Uh, the two in red. Are now yellows. Because they are on death's doorstep. Um, I did not roll for that guy. Is he out of it? Yeah, he's out of it. Yeah. All right. So that so those those guys are all just hanging on. All right. Um, that's the end of my turn. I try to act shocked and surprised. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, you guys get to choose which one of you wants to go first. Um, I'm, I was coming in right behind Uzo. So, uh, coming in right right behind him, and as he's casting that, poof, goes into the ground, I pop out uh, Kumara from behind him and fire off two Eldritch Blasts. One, All right. uh, one at each of these guys. Here. Uh, okay. Here. Cultist B and Cultist C. Roll it. So first one. Yeah. 25 to hit. Nice. Hits. Second one also 25 <laughs> to hit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so I'll roll the damage. Yep. Uh, I love the up arrow, by the way. 1d10? Yeah. Well, 1d10. The up arrow recalls the last thing you did. Yeah, I use that often. So five on the first, four on the second. Oh my god! Yes. Guy, He's still alive. <laughs> Cult is V, not dead. He is. Wow. He is. Thread. My goodness. Uh, Cult is C, however, dead. Yeah. So <laughs> one one cult is dead. All right, Rockus. What? Well, on bonus action. Do you have more? Do you have more? Yeah, I'm hiding behind Uzo. But they're gonna think it came from me. The <laughs> point right. was to separate. 
Um, well, I guess at this point I could... Let me see where this is. Yeah, I could make it. So, I will then, uh, bonus action hide back here. Yeah. All right, cool. I will, I will have you roll that next time. Uh, Ruckus or Andraste. No, Andraste went. Ruckus, you are up. Boom, boom. Uh, I say from this back, I'm going to try. I'm going to do the map thing. I'm going to I want to get as far as I can. Yeah, I can get there. I want to stick 25 feet. I'm going to... St- uh, land right there and uh... why am I wearing this thing? this silly <laughs> outfit <laughs> I mean that's a fair question are you too wait are you still a diversion right now in your cloak <laughs> supposed to be it's supposed to be pandemonium in here and they don't know who their people are and our people are but if you're okay. standing next to me all right uh, if I can land at the door, can I? Well, here's the thing. I don't want dis. That's what I don't want disadvantage. Is if, if I throw the flamberge or if I cut someone with it. But also, wait. No, 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 no. I have a cloak. I have a cloak of disguising as a cloak. Can I, as a free action, <laughs> use that in order to kind of uh, disguise myself as one of them and then cut one of them? Is it a free action in in the? Uh... I'm a uh, cloak of many fashions. While wearing this cloak, you may use a bonus action, and I will do that, to change the style, color, and apparent quality of the garment. That's after you put it on. It's been on me this yeah, whole time. he's got the cloak on. Ah, sweet. From the very beginning of this whole city, I think. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Or, as soon as you got it. Yeah. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I will waste my bonus action to transform it into Warrigan Cappy. And remember, these guys are not fireproof. You definitely not. I remembered that, <laughs> yeah. uh, but I'm also not going. Yeah, no. Bonus action is so I'm going to tra- change the cloak into what looks familiar to the rest of the cultists. So it and, looks like and- a Maman co- uh, cloak. Yep. Sweet. And then my first action is. Uh, yeah, I think I will move close. I think I'm going to actually try and hide in the crowd, not in the fireball. Uh, that square is the fireball, correct? That square is the web. Evard's tentacles don't go in there. There are black roots sprouting from the ground. <laughs> Just, oh my gosh! Wait, what? What? What is wrong with me? I want to have me. that. Right? I wonder have why you didn't use that. <laughs> also, uh, Thomas, animals. Are you going to have me use on my next turn the bonus action to hide? Uh, you. Uh, uh, no, you can use it now. Okay. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Yeah, go ahead and use it now. I did. So 19 stealth. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. The dumb. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. Thank God for expertise. Oh, that's cool. That's, that's cool. A bunch cool. Of, that's a. I've seen enough hentai. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever seen it up? <laughs> All right. So that is that is. I don't know. Yeah, that's dumb. Anyway, so that's that's where the tentacles are. Um, All right. So Ruckus, could you make it there? Uh, from here. Well, yeah. Track it, but I could have sworn twenty-five feet was next to Uzo yep. and five uh, more. Uh, I'll say you can spin these around there. Yeah, you can get there. Thank you. Uh, it's your arc. It's your arc. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze around just a smidgen, just a just just like a centimeter over, and uh, and, and I will attack attack this one to my left, my first action, <laughs> because it was a bonus action to even get there. I thought no, or, it was a bonus which one? action. Which one are you attacking? I'm which one? You atta- which one? Click him to my left. That's the dead guy. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Okay, well. You can hit this guy. <laughs> Whoever's yeah. alive and <laughs> impacts the situation, I'm hitting. Uh, uh, this one right here? Okay. I'm going to straight. Please hit him. Yeah, I will do that. Okay, let me adjust. I'm going to take this off then. Boom. Lambush of the night! <laughs> and uh, <laughs> slashes right through him. 14? That hits. Nice! 1d8 plus 6. 
Let me get this out. D20. Nope, that's the wrong arrow. Plus six. There we go. Oh, hey, he had two hit points. On him. Nine damage? Yes, he had two hit points. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you hey. physically cannot roll low enough. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so you come in and just stick him with this uh, flamberge, slice him across, and he's like, he was almost dead anyway. Uh, you just finished him off. And he nice. rolls into the tentacles a little bit, like, Fuck. and then they grab him up. No, they don't he died the way he lived. And <laughs> the tentacles are wrapping him. <laughs> Uh, and uh, that is where we're going to end tonight's session. After that, what? after that uh, round of surprise, um, oh I got gosh. another. You know, it still but gave me one more piece of inspiration. Why? So, uh, okay. Speaking so of, here's it, it, here's of, the deal. Of Silva though, and 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 uh, and Sir Biscuit, check the Discord. There's been some amazing art going up in the last hour or so. Uh, wow. Nice. So uh, uh, that was uh, to me because cultists need it. So I'm going to ask. Uh, I'm going to ask the chat. That's quick. We have. Uh, I have four inspiration, and there is a total of four, eight, ten player inspiration. Do you want this to carry over to next time, or do you want it to go into the book of inspiration? Um, I'm a I'm a gambler. I'm, uh, the, bo I'm the boy boy. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna open this up to to the chat because they gave it to us tonight and I thought we would get further. I know what I but, opt uh, for. I'll 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 leave it I'll leave it up to the chat. But I mean, this is all part of the same fight and part of the big arc. So two for the boy, one for save it. I, I, yeah, good good job, Crunch. I'd, I'd like on, to crunch. save it. Yeah, come on. So, uh, yeah, so I I will I, I will also uh, uh, sneak peek. There is hardly any in the boy. So it's not going to trigger if we put all this in. Two for two, like save. Bird in the hand and all that. You got a two for two. All right, so our, that's save it, save it. So far in the chat, Hefner started a straw poll, but uh, straw me poll, straw poll but me. Save, oh, well, it's still two, save. two. Um, so th thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we're ending a little bit early. I mean... Just, uh, I've got an early morning tomorrow. And so. rounds of combat take forever, so. They do, and uh, I will point out that there are, you know, four high priests of the Cult of Maman on this, on this map. You can see two of them, and. Yes. Yeah, and, 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 and the last time that we tangled with high level clerics, we survived, but only just. Five, three, uh, also... save. All right, so we're gonna save this uh, for, for next time. Um, somebody write it down. How much? Ten. Why does this? Why does this feel different? There's. I'll just say there's ten for the players, and four for the DM. Aaron, we're gonna let that carry do over. Do you have any more animals in the bag? Uh. I yes. So. I think he has uh, one left. Yeah, I think it's one. I'm in the tan bag. Let me look. Let me look at my journal because it's not in. You should check your Facebook messages. Is what you should check. Why would Come you on. tell me there? And it's also <laughs> open. Come on, he All never right. does so, that. You know that. It's just... I, so I'm I'm thinking that it's it's probably soon where we like look at something like G Suite where we all have access to stuff like Hangouts and Calendar and Gmail and all the other stuff. Bing but, mail. Uh, if Bing offers a sweet. Be sweet. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, they do. It's it's Microsoft Office, and they have like the full thing, and it's more expensive than six dollars a person for a small business. That's what G Suite is. Hmm. Hmm. But Remy, you have a bag. I do. Uh, we've pulled all three out of it. Out of your bag. Uh, I give it back to Ruckus. Okay. Wait. So yeah, there's one. And you pulled two. I pulled two in the beginning, and then we pulled uh, Jaina again, I think, uh, during the last fight. Right? I thought we... Wait, I gave that bag to the ship, not to you. Wait, you have a bag? We've pulled all three, I believe. Okay. Right, there were the two in the I... beginning when we I came into the I thought there were two bags. 
that we there had. Were. We left okay. one on the ship. Yeah. There we go. That's it. That's the map. Hmm. Boom. Done. No more animals. <laughs> Fuck. Whoever's in charge of the ship is just throwing shit out. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right. So, yeah. So, thank you guys uh, for joining us. Um, thank you for the chat. I I think I need to go back and read this. It looks looks pretty intense. Um, it usually is. <laughs> any, anyone else have anything fun to say? So, next week, Art. Togoths is going to be running Cthulhu in space. So, Aaron, make your character. You have to do it right. Cthulhu in space. In space. Space cat. Yeah, y'all, uh, uh, y'all need to uh, build your characters. Oh shit! You're Almost right. there. <laughs> need to do that. Once I start, uh, and I want to go and check out this artwork that's over in the Discord. Thank oh, you. Where is it in the Discord? And you all should that. too. Yeah, there's some really great artwork that went in there. One, one of them, the, the the one that Sir Biscuit did, made me actually laugh. Is it in the fan art? Uh, yeah, it's, it's in, in media. Media. Oh, so it's not in fan art. Is there's not a fan art, is there? Media. Yeah, there is. No. I thought there was. That was pretty uh, quick turnaround. Yeah, time character on that too. or game art. It's right there under creations, community, and staff. Yeah. Character Correct. or game art. Oh, that's awesome. Have to check it out. Oh no, not for that one. For the one for today, <laughs> it's under. Uh, Media. Ah, <laughs> uh, funny. <laughs> Holy shit, Sir Biscuit. Sorry, swearing. That's... <laughs> uh, she's supposed to be pushing. <laughs> as, oh, as, as, as well. As she pointed out, who who says she only goes for males? <laughs> okay. Um, that's awesome. Uh, we need to get a uh, uh, questioncast.com slash submit going. Yeah. Uh, Thank you for the amazing art. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Well, yeah, I, mean, I like this, that, uh, I like yeah, that girl on bust action. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like the laughing fox in it. And, uh, it's so cute. I love that. I love that. Oh, yeah. Didn't even see that one. It, the, the, I was just then, my eyes are drawn to the bust. I mean, <laughs> well, well, like, and then yeah. obviously the Uzo, the Uzo one below that. That yeah, one's pretty awesome. badass. That is awesome. Thank you so much for that. That is fucking baller. All right, it, there's. Oh man. Okay, so we definitely need to get get moving on our uh, our intermission video featuring all of this amazing artwork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. That being said, I'm gonna go home get some rest because I got another early day tomorrow. Thank we you really appreciate you sticking out. with us. Yeah. Um, September should be a fun time. Let's just this throw is, that out there. Just say, say that. There's a uh, you know whether whether or not we're we're around the table or we are socially distant in the same room. Um, I hope again. I thought this thing was going to last a month and we'd come back and be like, yeah, everything's great. <laughs> <laughs> no, life a sucks million me. laugh memes just went off in my head. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. You yeah. underestimate the stupidity of people. Uh, and I, <laughs> nice. I, I'll see you guys in February 2021. <laughs> which is the estimated vaccine turnaround time. Yeah. I agree. Or do yeah. I? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, we'll we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, obviously, we we, we safety is our number one sort of uh, thing that we are looking at for this whole thing. So, the U.S. is a fucking prison on planet bullshit. The <laughs> EU doesn't want us, and the Canada's prison. closed. They're we're trapped here. Mexico. This is a, this is a Mexico. game world. Mexico I, 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 closed I, their borders I, to us. Ironically, yeah, we're stuck here. Send I'm help, Mad Mad. A friend of mine was looking to move to Canada and he got rejected. And they're like, yeah, we're looking for people with PhDs that are younger. It's like, uh, he's like, I'm too old and stupid to move to Canada. <laughs> All right. So when America sends them, they don't send their best. Oh, do not make me spit my water. That's mean. America is in the Hunger Games hard. 
Um, <laughs> anyway. All right. Um, thank you guys for sticking with us. Thank you for being here. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in every week, e- even though they're they're getting more and more rambly and <laughs> and chaotic. So uh, we will. Uh, I don't know. You it's a weird world us. we're living in. Thank you for staying with us. And we will see you in, in a couple of... Uh, I'll weeks. see you in a couple of weeks. I, I don't know. I'll be, I'll be like right over there. I'm not... If you guys uh, reach out to Aaron, just tell him to do that thing that I've been asking him to do. Just tell him to do it. Get that thing down. There's some I'm cool shows that could happen if Aaron was doing that thing. <laughs> oh, no. Tweet at me. I'm curious. We are what not that, that kind of stream. Do that thing. You get that thing uh, speed what of which happening? tomorrow morning our interview with Rob, Rob Devio uh, goes out there um, Did that and he remind is, you and he uh, he is he is up for having another talk as soon as he can spill the beans about the new pandemic legacy season zero uh, he felt that it was available that he knows the date is what he told us but he didn't tell us what that date was if you have the date the... is in 2020, so uh, there is a pandemic coming out in 2020. In case you guys didn't know, I mean, we're Ooh. kind of living it. <laughs> yeah, they're copying at this point. It's copy pasta. I this, mean, it's so unoriginal. Well, if you well, yeah. <laughs> interview any more game makers, I'm really curious about the lesser known game makers and like their plans. Gen Con is ruined, right? Kubicon washed. Like, yeah. how are they? So I'm spiel. really curious. Fan that's the, the the largest board game convention where 100,000 people go to a small, small city in Germany, and it's the big place. Yeah, it's done. Board Game Geek Con, done. BGG Con, done this year. Yeah, it's it's everything's... Yeah, the cons that, that, that I usually attend in Phoenix made the final call. Sabaton and uh, Phoenix Fan Fest made, made the call to be like, we're not doing it. Yeah. Which I understand. Oh, Rick. Nice job, Rick. Thought I was muted. Thought I was Sorry. muted. <laughs> Wrong game. Um, That's gonna. Hot. Anyway, I've offered to. I've offered to have uh, Matt Leacock in the studio. I don't know if that is. Uh, I also offered. We'll do a virtual chat if that's all right. But like, I think that we can figure out a way to be socially distant and do a decent interview. Um, Both feet so. apart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can easily be twelve feet apart. Couple multiple cameras. Multiple, you know, booms, shotguns on booms. You guys have to wear headphones, or else you're gonna be shouting at each other. <laughs> what? I, I sneeze when I punctuate my sentences. I hope that's not a problem. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not uncommon for one of us to stand on one side of the studio and talk to someone in a normal speaking voice on the other on the other side of the the studio. <laughs> this is a thing. It's the studio isn't that big. Yeah, I keep thinking, is it big enough? Yeah, it's like we could easily get six feet apart. That's that's not a problem. Don't be offended. There, there is a fan art mask. thread. There Can is a fan art thread. By the way, oh. the Sir Biscuit, there is a fan art thread. Media? It's called media. No. <laughs> There's one literally that says um, <laughs> under say character it. or game art. Community, Community creation. If yeah. it's, there if, it is. It fits in all of the places. The more places you put it, the more people get to see it. Oh my gosh, there's awesome artwork in the uh, character creation. <laughs> Sweet <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. I love you. Yeah, Luna Tiger's <laughs> on a tear. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are they? Mm-hmm. Well, has been. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Crane, and Crane Ford's got a couple on there. They, uh, Crane Ford did our like our first ones of the... Of Solari. Solari, oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Those were awesome. They were like the the it, it like the mixed media of it was super cool. Like it was like a real photo or like you know like a real background and then a yeah, more graphic designed front. It's just I, I really liked it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're rambling. I'm gonna go. Bye. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Get some sleep. Thanks. We will guys. see you uh, whatever Saturday. I'll do that. That's when we'll see. You.